you would need more brothers and sisters. I think people yeah. are happy with the idea of a cult that Nick is the leader of. <laughs> Fucking damn it, it makes me so happy to hear you say that. <laughs> um, it's, I believe, <laughs> it's just not worth it anymore. <laughs> Only different thing to the thing that people normally like about it. Like My partner um, just got struck by lightning, by the way. Oh, are you okay? What? You can either choose to, you can go through either door, choose if you want to help. Can I ask how you spell puss? My instinct would be P-U-S-S, but that's puss. The Denver Dallas Cowboys are down by nine. It's the fourth of the ninth. Did you say the Denver Dallas Cowboys? Steph, we're going to have to fuck all these people. Yeah. Gus, swing us out. Lightning. It's Thursday, the 21st of October, and you watch your back pocket come at you live from the Loki Studios, starring Gus Ruddle. Well, <laughs> Steph and Dixon. Spitting out nothing, it's Peter Burns. What he got in his mouth? It's Little Will. They weren't going in. You're not allowed to talk in this. It's Scotty. She's probably swallowed something today. And finally, oh no! Oh, oh, <laughs> Nick, Nick, by Richardson, Richardson, Nick Richardson. Hello and welcome to the show. Tonight on Back Pocket, we use a dread inscription to break through rifts and haunt a local townscaper who's gone outside and cut himself a switch. And he's using it to pistol whip Doctor Who because he's sick of his sweaty Destiny 2 bullshit. And let me tell you something. <laughs> when you put a face mask in your mouth all the way in, it absorbs all the moisture. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's nothing left. It was an interesting uh, choice. Can I, can I say something? Please. I went full Barjo. <laughs> Which is, yep. you know, when you go to do something and then you're like, I, it'll go to this level. And then when the camera turns on, you just give it that extra 15 to 20% that you shouldn't have given it. Mm -hmm. I.e. a Ford roll on camera. That was Bajo's classic. He'd always say, I'm not going to do it. And the camera's on and he'd roll and snap his back. Yeah, I yeah. was meant to spit that back in my glass, but the camera was on me. <laughs> I just gave it that extra 15%. And it went everywhere. It went everywhere. <laughs> yeah, good. Everywhere. Good. People, what was it? Mouse. What was it? Gin, gin and tonic. But, uh, oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. The tonic is, it's, it's almost The tonic clean. cleans the surface, but yeah, uh, that, that, I gave it too much. A little too much oomph. <laughs> uh, Pete, no one can hear you. Or maybe we can't hear you. Did but I spit the show can hear on the you. mic and I've ruined Pete? Because that sounds like something I, I would have done. Uh, I think, Gus, uh, I, I'm enjoying the fact that you and I have gone two completely different directions when it comes to like color tone. You look like. You've been very it's badly empty. burnt on a holiday, and I look like a ghost who lives in an abandoned <laughs> house. You put like a blue I'm light behind quite... you as well, which I'm sure isn't helping. That's true. Yeah. Well, so I put some coloured light behind me, but I just went like I put I put that because any other colour just emphasises the amount of boxes that are behind me. There's and something like, enough, specific yeah. about your setup that makes me feel like a killer is going to appear in the background. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like it's just it's a bit blurry and it's, it's moonlight like moonlight coming through and it's moonlight coming through and you're just positive. You're a positive, happy guy. Is it because got I'm his, a, his whole I'm life a ahead of him. Co -ed. <laughs> yep. Yep. And you're just talking about all of the things that you want to achieve in life as someone is approaching mm. you with a knife from the shadows. Mm. And, as soon <laughs> as I, and as soon as I flash my boyfriend, then, you know, I'm going to yep. die. Because you're not allowed to have sex in a horror movie. It's either you're talking, oh, it's it's either you're talking about. Dies. That's true. Um, it's either you're talking about the things you want to achieve in life or it's your last it's your last you've got one last job it's your one last show and then you're going to retire yep. <laughs> and that's when you well die. this is this is my second last day in the house so that that oh, yeah. almost counts that works that almost counts. That works tracks <sighs> steph i'm waiting for speaking of a horror movie vibe and like commitment to the bit i'm waiting for the time we cut to you and you're standing outside uh, just through your perfectly like aimed window, just looking yeah. through. But yeah. it wouldn't be very haunting with daylight savings because it's like it's literally Halloween this Sunday, and it, it always is. used to break my heart as a kid thinking it's like it used to be dark at five o'clock or like, and <laughs> Halloween would be fun, and then it just happens to be like a month after daylight savings, and you go out trick or treating in full daylight, and it just looks terrible. It does not sell the look. <laughs> um, Peter has appeared at that window a, a couple of times when I've been playing horror games, and it is. Uh -huh. Very, very scary. <laughs> Mowing with his shirt off at night. On the window. 
But I have so man. I have so many weapons in this room. I kind of feel like I'm sorted. Yeah, totally. You're well equipped. But is there one you'd go to first? I would I would definitely go the axe first, even though it is not at all sharp, but it is very mm. heavy, like as a blunt force object. That's what, I was, yeah. that's what I would use. The sword is too long for the space. You know, I'd get stuck on a wall or something. Uh, and also, you mm -hmm. don't have the strongest wrists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I definitely, I think, and, I'd definitely and I go think, the axe. And I do think if if you had an axe, I think just the look of the axe is doing like seventy percent of the work uh -huh. as compared uh -huh. to the sharpness. I think if so you had a sword, an axe? a sword yeah, is laughable. Like a, you do these a ones. Sword, and go... Yeah, a sword is kind of like mm. she has to know how to use this mm. to really do damage. But an axe that you can hold in one hand is just like she just needs to flail. Yeah, and I, and I and looking at you, and you know I love you, but looking at you, you look perfectly capable of flailing. Mm, I'm, I'm, she I'm has a, a jumper that says flailer. anxious. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this is my um, Tom Cardi merch. You know his, you know his anxious song. Why am I anxious? Anyway, I don't. Who's no, that? But again, never, Cardi? never confront a woman wielding an axe that just says anxious because she's going to be like anxious. flailing. <laughs> you, everyone, everyone knows Tom Cardi from the uh, little uh, Hall and Oates tribute he did, where he plays the intro and then goes. Mm. I'm a you're a word. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. a word. You're a uh, yes. Okay, yeah. And he works for Triple J in uh, Sydney. He, and he has, also had he also started put out writing a, his own music and is very popular. He also put out a song about uh, yeah. the regret you have ordering the big breakfast. Have you seen that yes. one? Oh, yes, of course. No, yeah. that I one speaks guy, to wait, me. He because... does all these own songs. He has these little studio at home. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yeah. guy's yeah. fucking great. Yeah. yeah. yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That one in particular great. speaks yeah, to me yeah. because it's about being really hungover and it has the line where it's like going to a family breakfast and your sister looks at you and says, don't fuck this up. Yeah, and don't, like, don't, don't, I, don't you fuck up on man, this, my Mother's Day again. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, that's too real, man. That's too real. <laughs> I should so point out that I'm wearing a shirt that Nicrotech sent me. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> so get good. your hands off my t-shirt! <laughs> where, where did you get that's it from, Microtex? Yeah, oh, that's that fucked. Great. I want that. You can't have it. I hate. <laughs> oh come I on! Hate the Pete, I hate that Pete took the like. Took. I'll wear Creative. cool yeah. t-shirts bit. Oh, that's so good. It was that's smart. So it was really shirt. smart. It was a good move. That was a good move. Uh, I think this one was for Nick or Pete, and I took this one. So it's like. I love that. Yep. I love, that, I love that for you, though. I love that for you. I love everyone's. Um, I love everyone's stuff. I think everyone's great. Well done, everyone. Everyone's a snappy dresser. Uh, let's bring in little Will. What's he wearing right now? Nothing. Just, good. just a bunch of blocks. It's just different. Just a bunch of blocks. Yeah. Just different it's blocks. It looks a, like a, 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 a section boy. has been cut out of the middle of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it because it bleeds into the armpits as well. It's like yeah, that's or to, true. Or, yeah. to put, or to put this in a parlance that you would understand, it looks like uh, you have content aware. Your belly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're the yeah. you're the far less ambitious, sexy Eva Green, uh, Venus de Milo scene from that movie, Guardians of the Galaxy Two. Too niche. Too niche. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> what movie? The Did dream. You just say Eva Will was? is far less sexy than Eva Green. Which it's the scene where she becomes that. the Venus de Milo I'm by not. wearing black Will, arms. Oh, no, I, <laughs> no, an ex-boyfriend maybe watched that once, and I don't know what I was supposed to take away from it, but I thought it was a strange yeah. film. She wears Wait, black long sleeves. And, and, she wears and black it, it has dreams, incest. It has incest. It does. Now you know. Does Nick? Now you're in. Yeah. Now I'm in. What is this movie? Eva Green incest. It was called. It was called the Dreamers. Yeah, yeah. She wears. Oh, black I know that movie. That's a fucking great arms, movie. Armed in front of a black doorway, so it looks like she's missing arms, like the Venus de Milo. Not the Venus de Milo. Yeah, one of those ones. So she looks like a statue. But that's what Will is doing with his lower half. So he just looks yep. like his upper torso arms. Yep. I'm sorry, I brought this up. <laughs> Michael Pitt. Michael Pitt is in that movie. Michael Pitt constantly yep. a yep. strange face to look at, a strange confronting face to look at. Welcome Unlike to the Will, back pocket community where the chat can the yell. Movie. <laughs> Where the chat can yell, hell yeah, incest, <laughs> and everyone else, everyone feels comfortable knowing the context. Yeah, yeah. Everyone knows. Yeah. We, we, it took us two years, but we finally got there. Uh, <laughs> thank you to, uh, co uh, one year, we've only been a while, one year. Contrasted, thank you very much, Contrasted, for the five subs that y uh, you uh, uh, gave us. Uh, Toxichor gifted a, a gifted a sub. I saw oh, as well, kind. scrolling down, hey, it's Ed here. Uh, hi, Ed. Welcome. It's Nick here saying thank you very much for the uh, for the subs. Yay. Uh, all good of this name. is going to um, uh, we're going to put this to a good incesty home. Um, <laughs> I'm excited to to be here. I I don't know about you. It feels like it's been weeks since we last did this show. Doesn't it? Normally, yeah. time feels like it's been flying this year. But for whatever reason, this last week has crawled by. 
So I'm glad it's not just me. I Maybe feel like I've memory. lived Maybe several lives up. since we last saw each other in these little boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Well, I because I get to see you uh, at least Pete and Gus mm. next Thursday. I get to see you. Peter and I and Will have in, seen each other already. In person. Stephanie. I know. And you, you guys have already seen. And, oh, and Steph. And I get to see Steph as well. And it's like, I have not I have not seen you guys in, what, like four months or something? Even though I talk to you every All the time. fucking day. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten how tall seen, I've I forgotten how tall you are. I bet I'm gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see each other and I'm gonna be like Oh yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and I'll look down here and I'll be like, "Yeah, those wrists really couldn't pick up much." <laughs> There's definitely something weird about the fact that you're right. Not seeing it or talking to someone for four months and then seeing them is like it's a heightened level of oh, it's lovely to see you. Hug. Have you been? Look how you've grown your hair or something. Whereas we've stared at each other for four That's months so like weird. a rat. And so Pete and I saw yeah. each other for the first but time. To like smell each hi, other. <laughs> to smell each other. Now that's. There's, I mean, that's literally kind of like, the first thing I said. I said, "You smell good." <laughs> yeah. so we gave each other a quick sniff and we were like on our way with work yep. so yeah that's but nice. it's a weird gus, thing to see yeah gus does always smell good i will i'll, I'll give him that that's the one thing i'll give him and the only thing i'll give him uh but that's we're going to give you a lot of video games today but before we give you video games let me tell you uh about a little company called sony playstation huh? hi i'm gus and when i'm not blending into the links in my camo golf pants i'm playing the greatest game of all video games so here are three reasons to check out october's playstation plus games Hell Let Loose lets you direct the flow of battle in 50v50 skirmishes across a dynamically shifting front line. Plays 14 different roles across 9 iconic battlefields, where the only way to win is to use teamwork and tactical communication. And probably pick a different camo to blend in. But why bother to blend in when you can stand out by ripping out another human's beating heart? Every character in Mortal Kombat X has a selection of different fighting styles. From slicing the top of someone's head off to reveal their brain, to slicing the front of their face off to reveal their brain. But why slice off a face to reveal a brain when you can truly dominate someone by skirting a sand trap on the 18th and sinking a birdie to close the tour with an RTP score of minus 12 in PGA Tour 2K21? Now that's a PlayStation Plus lineup worthy of applause. Hey, we're playing golf here, people. Keep it down. I don't know where you were looking at that in that last shot. It's like people the audience, they were down on the floor next to It's like, to hey, you. hey, stop that. <laughs> they were around me. Oh, he was um, looking at the man. huge devity just pulled out of the uh, fairway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was aiming the wrong way. <laughs> also, I also just finished a drive on a putting green, so make of that what you will. I have a very yeah. aggressive putt. <laughs> uh, uh, and PlayStation are very aggressive about giving games to you. If you have mm. a PlayStation Plus subscription, oh my goodness, you just get you just get games, including that subscription. This month, uh, you get the PS5 version of Hell Let Loose, which is a World War II inspired multiplayer game. Uh, you get mm -hmm. uh, Mortal Kombat X, and you also get PGA Tour. 2k21 pete you've let loose some hell i have let loose a little bit of hell uh it's it's just a little bit it's an in, it's an intense experience uh the war was like that no one hell. came back and went it was lovely it was a lovely war wait that's golf i'm thinking of golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's war is hell not war is a little inconvenient but you know what uh made some friends along the way <laughs> well the chore is hell uh it, it's an it's an interesting strategy shooter uh in how little info it gives you as a in in terms of being a first person shooter for the most part there is like a tactical element as well but it's a it's definitely a, a different taste of um shooter which is a cool thing to to experience for sure we were saying uh, there's no kill indicator so if you like real war or something it's like if you think you've killed someone you just have to move on instead of like getting a huge like their name or like a kill cam or something that's kind of that's kind of interesting something to see in a modern shooter yeah you're no like, hero what? ever <laughs> you're just like I, hide I, behind whatever points? you can <laughs> <laughs> i i do i do like that i totally got what you were saying but you were like <laughs> God, this game, it's like real war where, like, there's yeah. no sort of big kill. The graphic comes up on screen and the name doesn't appear. And uh, to me, it's like if you ever get drafted, you go out there, you're like, wait, so I shot this guy in the head. I think he's still alive because nothing currency just didn't pop out of his <laughs> corpse right, right in front of him. <laughs> um, uh, I'm excited for Mortal Kombat X. I think I said, I think Mortal Kombat X was Mortal Kombat X was nearly on my shame shave pile this oh, yeah. year. 
because I really want to get into that series because I've heard nothing but good things. I don't really care about fighting games, but I've heard nothing but good things about the story of these games because they're just really weird and over the top. And mm. when I was finding footage for that video, in fact, we couldn't even use this because it was too violent. Uh, I, at one point, a, a man uh, takes another a robot. Man, a robot? He's a robot. He's, he's he's one of the DLC characters called like Cy. He's like a cyborg character. I forget the name, but yeah, that's yep. the fatality here. Adams. And then he cr he crushes he crushes someone into a cube, into a meat he, cube. He turns himself into a giant pressing machine. Yeah, pushes like the enemy into it into a car crusher. Yeah. Uh, Triborg, thank you, Dolphin Pants. Turns into a giant car crusher, squeezes the person into it, crushes them down. They disappear, and then a huge ejected meat cube comes out with their face <laughs> just still wobbling in the front of it it's amazing what happened to, what happened to just kicking someone that's what i want to know <laughs> just kicking someone thanks dad uh, uh yeah, and then do yourself a favor uh, i was gonna say just on mortal kombat do yourself a favor and go and watch the trailer for it that's cut to like chop suey or whatever it is and i think there's like every mortal kombat trailer that's been cut recently is amazing it's just like they check a pop song and they just show all the fatalities and it's like one of the best ways to sell a game i was like yeah that's gross yeah. looking at that footage was good it's <laughs> good <laughs> and then yeah obviously i am uh, i've got golf now i was keen to get uh the 2k's take on pga we played a bit of it like a year ago or something like that and i was hanging out to get it on a pass or a whatever and now it's on this so i've um I've been playing, I've customized my own little character, which I think last time I did that in a golf game, I put a real side-by-side -side up on Instagram and people were like, that's too scary, man. You own the clothes that they have in the game. Yeah. Do not own the, urban, the uh, Louis Vuitton urban blue camo pants, though, that uh, are in that trailer. So, life goals. The, um, Fashion I goals. I mean, that is, that is your, your bit, is getting the clothes Buying the that outfit. are appropriate to the event. Yeah, you are... Correct. We should put you in places that just demand interesting outfits. And see what <laughs> um, so all three of those games are available thanks to PlayStation Plus. If you're a, uh, if you uh, subscribe to PlayStation Plus, you've already got them. Uh, you just need to go and actually add them to your library, and you've got until the first of November uh, to download those games to your PlayStation library. Thank you very much, PlayStation, for sponsoring Back Pocket, and thank you very much to our next sponsor, a little someone I like to call Loki Cat, but the segment I like to call. Oh! <laughs> Just saying what you all be playing. Brought to you by Brent Joe Deke. Low key cat, low key cat, low key cat, low key cat. Low key cat. Try to get Chanko in. Low, low key, key cat, cat. Low, low key, key cat. cat, low key cat. Low key. Anything to take the distraction from you linguistically was, painting yourself into a corner. I was with my arms. <laughs> you did good, Chanko. Yep. Can I say? Uh, low key cat, just so I can insert his name appropriately into this segment. Uh, Steph. It seems to have, uh, you, you, I think you're in a video game because your day-night cycle uh, has been pretty drastic. It's like yep. pitch black outside right now. Yeah, yeah. It's nice, though. I like it that you can kind of see the the sun setting from the window and then so good. Uh, we dwell in darkness. And the hooded figure out there as well who's mm -hmm. been waiting <laughs> outside in the hot sun. <laughs> just uh, for his that's, um, that's Reese, <laughs> but I'll get to that later when we talk about our games. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, well, we will get to that later because we're going to start off uh, the way we never do, and that's with a little someone we like to call Little Will. Get back in here, buddy. It's me. It's me. Hello, it everybody. <laughs> it's me. What have you been playing this week? Um, Surprise us. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, yeah, it'll be a big old shock to the system. Um, <clears throat> Will's been playing in the world of one of his favourite IPs once again, but it's Doctor Who this time. <gasps> um, with the, Yeah, I know. I know. That, you killed him. Shock. I've killed him. You couldn't also handle the secured, shock. It's a stainless steel moving house. I feel bad, but I've also secured myself at least like 10 seconds in the next intro. Um, right, which we'll is back. always helpful. <laughs> work. Um, that's just good. Doctor Who, the, Etern uh, the what's it called? The and Edge also, of Reality. That's the one. And I'll say the reason it's confusing is that this is actually a kind of port uh, crossover of uh, a, a VR game that came out in 2019. So, oh, right. um, so this is on this is on consoles and PC. So it's taking very much the same game that, that was on virtual reality and, and bringing it to, to consoles and stuff. Um, the premise: you're an unnamed person. You never get a name, but you've got to help the doctor. She's stuck at the end of time, and that's kind of the whole the whole thing. Um, there is Jodie actually, Whittaker's doctor. Jodie Whittaker is is yeah the the lead. Yep, yep. There is another doctor, which I will get to later, which is kind of the biggest part of this. Spit take. Um, I, I'm wasn't going to do it. I was just going to say it. Oh, <laughs> you just said spit take. You've done enough. You've done enough spit takes tonight. Um, 
But uh, yeah, so it, it basically just sets you up in about three or four different locations, and there's just a bunch of little there's gathering puzzles, there's laser puzzles. It it genuinely feels like the uh, movie crossover games that have just stopped existing. This is what it kind of feels like, and it and ha- being away from those types of games for so long, and it being Doctor Who, which is a, as a as a show very much a fetch quest full of puzzles. It kind of, <laughs> that, that kind of a genre kind of feels right for the game and it's cool to come back to a very simple um, video game. Is but, it is it canon in Doctor Who's um, story? I, t- I mean, I feel like Doctor Who, Doctor Who is very loose with that. Doctor Who doesn't have a canon That's like true. Star That's Wars. True. It's, like... it's Jodie Whittaker, did you say? <clears throat> Yes, Jodie Whittaker has the voice. Well, then it's um, canon, right? If it looks because that like feels her. like canon. That, yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. Because if it's yeah. like, if it's actually the actor from the mm. show, I mean, look, then, if I go into I th- it, I think his point is that anything can be retconned mm. because timey wibbly wobbly, timey wibbly wobbly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There's, no, there's no point in time this fits, but totally it, to the show, it, it could easily um, fit in. Uh, Sonic in hand is kind of the the primary thing, which is very you know, it's it's the show. Anything can mm. be Sonic uh, until. The game doesn't let you do the action of a Sonic because there are a, a plenty of bugs um, in this game which are almost Ew. like game-breaking. Are you we watching do... one right now? <laughs> yep, yeah, welcome to this. It tells you to Sonic it and nothing happens. And what I ended up having to do is like travel deep into this forest. Uh, well, I, I, it literally it wouldn't allow me to bring out the Sonic, Sonic screwdriver, so I had to travel deep into the forest to a point where the Sonic came out and then just hold down the Sonic screwdriver and walk back to where I needed to use it. Good so, fix. Bad puzzle. No, yeah, it's uh, and there's like this. There's very. You guys cool camping items. with an electric guitar. Pink I know. Pink. That's what I was thinking. Pink Would that make a sound? Pardon? Would that make a sound? An electric like guitar an plays an E chord in the woods. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you can get you could get a battery powered amplifier, yeah. we'll but otherwise, it's going to make the sound of strings vibrating and that's about sh- it yeah. look it's in the name of sonic screwdriver you could rest the screwdriver next to the guitar and amplify it it's all in mm-hmm. sonicify it mm-hmm. sonicify so this it. is this is what you meant by like nothing in doctor who makes sense no anything can happen um yeah. but uh, the the one thing i will say which is it's, it's a very strange game because it was a vr game a lot uh, the puzzles haven't changed and so a lot of the puzzles that had like a novelty and even just like things like this where a, a weird thing appears it's like there was a real cool novelty, as with a lot of VR games, where something surprises you, or it's like, mm. look up close or mm-hmm. hold this sure. thing. Nothing in, in it, it doesn't translate very well. A lot of the puzzles just feel empty, and some of them just flat out don't yeah. work. There's one Is where it you've. Scary? It looks like it's trying to be very Everything's scary. Everything's so it's, dark. It's very yeah. dark in this. Thing. There you go. Yeah. This is a bit better. Um, I imagine in VR that's a little bit more confronting. Totally. It's, yeah, there's, there's, there's a great air of mystery and, and, and constant, like, on edge, and especially if you go into that uh, other clip, Pete, yeah. where you you bring in, of course, the iconic Weeping Angels. Um, it is and, scary. Yeah, yeah this Ooh. this this is probably one of the few. It's got a, ooh, it's scary. <laughs> it's scary. Mm, I don't play one anything the, unless it has jump scares. <laughs> this is definitely a, a weak a weak <laughs> game. A weak, this, a weak game. <clears throat> this has potential in that. Um, oh, this okay. is actually one of the few like sections in the game that actually maybe worked. Not better, oh, but yeah. but still was a really enjoyable experience in VR. Yeah, it had a great thing of you actually like oh, you have to look, so you feel terrifying, to, mm, terrified to look totally. away to a puzzle. Yeah, that's so, great. So they do they do, they've nailed that. The, this is very different to how the VR plays, but um, no, like <laughs> I was, I, you can just <laughs> <laughs> because I just didn't expect it to work as well as it did. And yeah, 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 yeah in right. VR it, this would be fucking terrible. And, and yeah. Because I'm guessing I've got to be, I've got a quest. Like, there's no VR headset that's watching you blink, a la that like emotional totally, game. Yeah, so it's, it's that would be amazing. But this is just from when your camera clears the frame yeah, entirely. It's, it lets it do a little move. bloody out oh, a wild yeah, rip right. off, mate. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, um, this section was pretty good. Um, the uh, the little yeah here. This is a Dalek section. You kind of it's a definitely a list of the best monsters all thrown. Into I was gonna say is it feels sl- slapped together by like here uh, you're doing a I think kind Doctor of Who's like... very hokey in its monsters. Like the monsters always yeah. turn up, so it never it doesn't feel a little bit silly. But here you've got to distract a Dalek, and again in VR, physically throwing an item and then like scuttling behind them is really fun. In this, the game doesn't feel like it n- knows how to respond to this so you throw it and then you run as soon as you run the Daleks aware that you're there and you get shot and it's like oh mm. well then why did I throw the thing whereas in <laughs> VR you've got the, the panic of like I'll throw it I'll duck under 
a waddle mm. past. So there's a, there's a few translations. Waddle past. <laughs> it's a very British word. Um, <laughs> so there's a few translation things in it, but I think as, as VR is still pretty difficult to get your hands on and expensive, this is a pretty good way to be able to experience what that game was. I think the other one is definitely the better way to play this section of it. But um, the one addition in this is that there is another Doctor. And I'll say it's like about 340 in this clip, Pete. I know it's an annoying yep. number. Oh, well. uh, the, uh, Did I go too far? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I've, I've said it wrong. Maybe. This is 340 now. Are we, are we oh, prepared okay. to spoil? Yeah, here we go. Is that... There he is. There he is. Hey. 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 It's the singer from One news. good one. And it's, very, <laughs> it's very weird to look. Matt He's Bellamy. talking right now. Matt Bellamy. <laughs> Uh, David Tennant's in the game. That's kind of it's a known thing. It's the element that they've included. I don't want to show too much, but they've included sure. to kind of entice you if you didn't jump That's on the not VR, in the VR one. one. No, so in the VR, it's purely a story with Jodie oh, Whittaker's right. Doctor. So this is included. It's about an hour and a half extra story, including David Tennant, but it also it's pretty good. Um, entwines with the story that they wrote. So the story still finishes the same way uh, as it did in VR, but it furthers and it actually does. I think the story in the back end of this experience is actually. It lifts the original one, which is really cool. It's unfortunate nice. because I think the game itself is better in VR, but the story here is a fuller experience because there's little mm. teasers to something in the VR one, and this is the game that kind of finishes that idea do off. You, do you yeah, right. do you think maybe the um, how long ago did this come out in VR? 2019, so end of end of 2019. Do you think they had plans for that DLC to be a VR thing, and maybe they didn't yeah. sell enough units in VR? That's but still wanted to finish the story on a platform that maybe they would sell more copies of. Totally. Actually use. And that's why, yeah. Still had a sound booth booking with David yeah. Tennant they had to use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's he recording DuckTales. Yeah, he, he's in, and it's like, it's phenomenal. Is he doing a duck like, voice? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's Scrooge McDuck in this. They couldn't, they couldn't afford <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> um, he's like, they just used his lines. They paid for the yeah, yeah. yeah, the lines that yeah, got yeah. cut. They from took Duck lines Tales. from Broadchurch. It's really just, dark. It's a, yeah, there's a weird scene where the Doctor just dives into money, but it's like it is wonderful. Just like hearing David Tennant's Doctor, like it, totally. it does throw you back. But in in a good way, it doesn't it doesn't diminish Jody. Like Jody is still the Doctor that carries you through this. It's not. It doesn't. It. I mean, it does feel like an easy pull in for people, but it doesn't it doesn't ruin yeah. it being a piece of her content, which is also Can I ask one one last question. It, mm. we saw a, a model, a character model of David Tennant who ran around there, obviously mm. like pretty average lip or no lip syncing or anything. But from all accounts, Jody Whitaker's doctor is just on a radio the whole time. There's, you never there's like projections and stuff. Um, okay, right. In, in the yeah. new section there is there's like a brief appearance, but I don't want to go too much into that. But Does she ever walk past no. a mirror? No. No, she waddles past <laughs> She waddles <laughs> past <laughs> A very um, British way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a good, it's a good fun one. If you can't get VR, I would. It's weird because I, I think the back half is really good. But I think if you want to experience what this game wants to do, I think VR is still the way to mm. experience it. Um, mm. but, no, it's good fun. It's, it's, it's cool to hey, enjoy cool. an IP based game and not, not shit on it for. Ten minutes. <laughs> it's sad when it moves from VR because, like, literally the first thing you do, and I think in the trailer for that VR game, is you mm. just see someone holding a sonic screwdriver doing yeah. this, which is what everyone does with the lightsaber, with a, a wand in Harry Potter. It's like even yeah. that is enough to like lift an experience of a fan totally. service kind of thing massively. And then how they've mapped that in that as a port, it looks really wonky, and it's, it's like it's I've very never seen a, step, a, a backward step from VR to. It's to, it's to, I, I kind of think yeah. about like what if. Half Life Alex had gotten like a PC version, a shooter version without, yeah. mm. and it's like all the magic of what that game kind of introduced would just People be a Half Life game. Yeah. Um, to, yeah, to me, it's like the the uh, Galaxy's Edge experiences or whatever mm. that they have at theme parks. It's like yeah. we made this three dimensional space story you get to experience, <laughs> and it's like, and now you can play it on your home at computer. Home. <laughs> And it's like, yeah. this fucking sucks at home. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's so if I'm not holding a $200 lightsaber I just built myself, I don't want this. No, I saw, I saw um, Nazy doing a, um, a roller coaster in VR the other day, but I feel like I want what, you know, have you seen that video of that guy who has his kid in a, in a um, laundry basket? And yeah. and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it has yeah. the roller coaster POV footage on the TV, and he's like moving it around. Yeah. Like I would want somebody to hold a washing basket for me while I was in VR. So I I'll have hold a your washing experience. basket, sweetheart. <laughs> Aww, that's so, that's so cute. Oh <laughs> couple God, goals. So <laughs> um, speaking of the speaking of the fact that they just stole all of David Tennant's lines from Ducktales, I learned a couple <laughs> of days ago that the 1931 version of Dracula, the film, 
with Bella Lugosi, like the classic mm -hmm. Dracula movie. Uh -huh. Back back in the days of early sound films, what they used to do is just record multiple versions of the movie for different languages because they didn't do like alternate Don't soundtracks mean. and stuff. <laughs> so there's a 1931 version of Dracula, which is Spanish. They filmed it in Spain. So Bella Lugosi, they, the English crew shot the film on the sets during the day. And then at night, the Spanish crew would come in and shoot the same <laughs> film, but in Spanish with Spanish actors and everything. Um, <clears throat> but amazing. according to all the reviewers, the Spanish, Spanish version one's awesome. <laughs> is far better because they got it's to nice. watch the dailies of yeah, the right. English version and figure out better shots <laughs> and how to do like, okay, That's you figured it. out how to use this. So now we're going to do a better version. How That's cool amazing. is that? That's yeah. amazing. Also like amazing. the fact that the, they never coined the term nightlies then to be like, here's the nighttime version of all the rushes. Particularly making That's a Dracula amazing. film. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They were in the mood. That was, a, it was nighttime. That would have been perfect. Uh, so, yeah, so that's what they could have done with David Tanner. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Um, <laughs> cool. Okay, well, thank you very much for that. I'm no glad you enjoyed uh, a what sounds like a severely hampered experience. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, Should have been in a speaking, hamper. Speaking of uh, VR, though, Gus, segue. Yes. Uh, I have dived back into some VR myself, uh, into a game that I'm going to happily say is the best VR game I've ever played. Um, uh. The game is Pistol Whip. It's been out for ages, but they have been steadily uh, continuing to release content for it uh, as free DLC. Uh, it's a, like most VR games, it's a paid game. Uh, I think they upped their price by like five bucks when they realized they'd added so much stuff for free that they were like, we need to make some money off this. Uh, and so they added a whole another series of songs and levels. But the main thing they did was release these two story campaigns. And story is just like a lovely window dressing for a bunch of um, extra songs that are, I think there's four, maybe five each, and they are levels. This first one is 2089, which is uh, just heavily, heavily Terminator inspired. Uh, very Skynet, um, and Pete, if you can bring a little bit more of the volume up than we usually do with the clips just to hear the music because it's amazing. Uh, if you haven't seen Pistol Whip before, it's essentially like it's an in, uh, it, the, the game pushes you forward, playing a really heavy EDM style song. You have uh, usually a single, sometimes a double uh, dual pistols, and you're firing at enemies that are spawning around you, and it's often in time or just in an offbeat with the song. So it's very, very gratifying in that sense, visually and audibly. And then you've got a melee, which is just a pistol whip that you can do like that. Um, the main defense mode is. is essentially when they when you are <laughs> shot at. When you're being shot at by an enemy, you'll see like a red line indicating a bullet's coming from uh, if it's off screen or if it's away from that, you. Is that what those circles were with the line? Or? Yeah, it's, a, it's yeah, a little okay. hard to, like any VR game, it's hard to tell. But essentially, if you're looking at an enemy and they'll shoot a bullet and you'll hear a gunshot and then all you need to do is move your head out of the way and the bullet will go past you. Uh, and if there's someone shoots you from behind, you'll see a little indicator to tell you someone shot at you. But the audibly hearing a gunshot will help. So essentially what you need to do is kind of roll your body around as you play because if you keep moving your head, you'll never they'll never really land a shot on you. Mm. Um, so that's the premise of the game. And the earlier levels are very John Wick inspired. You get multiple enemies and you are uh, frenetically like diving around as you try and take out as many targets. This story content was awesome because, uh, as I said, it's very terminator -y. It begins with you just with a regular pistol. Uh, there's a middle level, which we don't have to watch specifically, where you don't get a gun at all, and you have to do a whole level just pistol whipping people because you're, you've been killed and re reborn as a cyborg. All these very incredible visual elements around you probably don't give you the same feeling as when you're playing it, like most VR, but... My god, is it satisfying. This level then gives you an auto pistol, which is what you're seeing now. And um, yeah, as I said, it goes through with some really B-movie kind of like cutscenes in between. I love that. Uh, <laughs> you feel uh, they're just like cool comic art things. I, I saw like three... I saw a mixed reality streamer do this um, in a full like leather kind of Trinity oh, yeah. from the Matrix outfit, and it looked <laughs> so freaking cool. <laughs> it would look, it's one of those things that would mixed reality would look cool. The gameplay looks cool. Watching yourself do it with no one else around, uh, like most VR, does looks not cool. look cool. Oh, no. um, <laughs> well, you know, as cool as it can. As you saw, the only other thing that's awesome in this is that there are these elements where it quietens down, and there's like these obstacles in front of you where you need to move. Your whole body left and right yeah so that's kind of like the premise of it so that's what this stuff is and it yeah. causes you to kind of do this 
and it's in time with the song and you just can't help but like tap a foot and play along with it. Do you have but, yeah, to um, do like, you have to like crouch and stand and stuff like that? Do you yep, like are you moving yep. your whole body in that sense? Yep. Uh, so it's it's a it's a huge workout. I think I mentioned a few months ago that I play this now before I go for a run. It's like a really good warm up, like gets your blood absolutely pumping, and you don't even think about it. Yeah. Um, so this was the first part of their DLC they did. As I said, five levels. They're re they're really long, and they can be played on three difficulties. Um, the second batch they re they released is called uh, I think Smoke and Thunder, and it's all Western themed. And you play this female cowgirl who's like getting revenge on her <laughs> sister. Again, super hokey. And Pete, if you want to play that, I've actually filmed myself playing that. And the mm. first song you might recognize, oh, and if this you crank is great. the music, you can't help but just, this is sick. <laughs> this should be your Tinder but profile picture. <laughs> I'm aware how daggy this is, but this song. It's just bang. Look at the legs. I love this, but mouth. I wish you'd put on one of your like many thousands of checkered shirts and jeans. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, dre he's dressed so, for the workout. That's what he's That's right. For. I, am. That's right. I, I went for a run after this, yeah. but essentially you're reloading by flicking your gun down. Anyway, this song. Well positioned, mirror. And, and, uh, yeah, thank you, Pete. A lot of songs in this one have lyrics, and they are like cool modern country songs. Um, and then, Pete, if you just turn it up when you hear like the melee coming up here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Look at those legs go. I can't stop fucking looking at your legs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this song is great, and the next four songs that you get in it are so cool. And uh, you're also playing through like a country town. You you end up like there's um uh, like uh, people riding alongside on horses. There's trains that you you do like nice. the whole level on a train. It's just awesome that they've gone, they haven't just gone and taken more songs a la Beat Saber and just made like new levels from that. They've designed these full worlds. There's like voice acting in the cutscenes. It's yeah, really, cool. as I said, like hokey, but um, it's just great fun. And I, I just, coming back to it, I was like, this is the best use of VR I've ever had. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's a game, but it's also a rhythm thing. It's a workout, but it just, it's also a shooter and shooters feel the best on like, sorry, the best VR games are shooters in my opinion. <laughs> Um, you get into you it, man. Look, <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, like, it just, you can't not yeah, just I mean, that absolutely... is that is the beauty of VR, that, like, in the same way, you know, when I was doing the uh, that Viking beat drum thing? Yes. Like, you just get yeah. into that, like, you are embodying the character of whatever game you're playing, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm all am... here for your complete... <laughs> dive into being a cowboy in Kuji. <laughs> I played, um, I played, <laughs> I played so, a bit of um, Synth Riders and they had this uh, electro swing pack. And so some, so like 1920s kind of electro um, vibe. And they had done the choreography of the like balls that you have to hit. They'd done it yep. in such a way that it mimicked the style of doing the Charleston. It was so cool. Oh, so cool. as as that's as I cool. started awesome. to like do all the little moves, I started to like kick my little heels up and stuff. I was like, <laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dancing. Well, it's cool when it does make you feel like you must be like like any rhythm game. It's like I'm, maybe I'm, I'm doing the dance properly. And here it feels like you're being a badass, yeah. uh, you know, gunslinger, which feels really appropriate for this, even more so than the John Wick nightclub kind of levels. Yeah. Yeah, like and, and often get to a point, which in is, those movies yeah. they cut to a piece of music as well, so it's like you get that feeling. Totally, and it gets. This is on medium difficulty, and I failed at this once or twice. I've done it on hard, and it is just like yeah, absolute sweat fest. So it is so great, and it's on Quest and Quest. Uh, I think it's on every VR platform, yeah, it is. but yeah. it's <clears throat> particularly good on the Quest due to the wirelessness of it. Yeah. So if you haven't played this already, it's like the one full priced VR game that I'm just like is just so fun. Also, the only thing I'll say is that like you might look at it and think the graphic style is a little janky and pixely, and like obviously that's the design choice, but maybe it's less satisfying. You just fall into it instantly like especially when you're in there properly you got to holster those guns um <laughs> uh it 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 did it, it, it you, there's a disconnect there that you just like you fall into that doesn't looking at it you think that it looks like it would be great if it was ultra realistic it's better that it's not is is where i want to land on that because it is just like heaps of fun so yeah just quickly what's the, how generous is the aiming 
like, do you need to be pretty spot on or is it just like... No, that's the other thing. It's the hitboxes on them are huge. Yeah, so cool. you like, you know, you, you you fire from the hip with your other hand sort of round the corner and like you'll get a kill. And it feels great in that sense because, again, it has a very John Wick vibe to just... Yeah, you're, cool. f- you're firing like crazy. It's mainly just ammo conservation and making sure you're moving your head out of the way the whole time. Yeah, great. But um, yeah, they've put, they put a heap of content behind this. They've said uh, Cloudhead Gaming are going to continue putting heaps of free DLC stuff. I think this campaign model is, uh, or this story uh, mode of DLC is is really good and they're having a lot of fun with it and there's heaps of tropes and genres they could play with. So, um, yeah, the best VR game I've ever played. Hands down. Cool. Nice. What That's else have you been playing, Gus? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I thought, yeah. Uh, and then the only other thing I played uh, was I finished Metroid Dread. Uh, we yeah. talked about it last week, but I uh, persisted and uh, had an absolute ball finishing this, what I'm just going to call, like, the purest video game I've played in a long time. It just, obviously, it's it's a, a callback to the old Metroid-style games, uh, and we, we talked about how much we, Nick and I, who have been playing it, enjoyed it last week, but... I um yeah I just felt the pull to get through this game and complete it and I'm very happy that I did because it was super satisfying it it has a great difficulty curve at, at no point did I ever find myself really frustrated um there were some great puzzles later on it it didn't get too labyrinthy in the way that I was really worried it might do it always kind of kept me on the right path and never had me staring at the map for too long had to use a guide once or twice just to get me back on track, but I think that's like a given in this series of games. Oh, literally um, everyone who has talked about yeah. this is like, I dipped into a game once or twice. In fact, I was listening to uh, the Triple Click podcast today, and uh, one of the one of the hosts on that works for Polygon, and she said that they have seen a huge spike uh, in people checking the Metroid Dread game uh, walkthrough <laughs> from midnight <laughs> to four a.m. each night because people basically like lock in and play a bunch of the game and then just hit a spot where they're like, I can't put it down, but like it's too late and I need to like figure this out before I get to bed. Yes. And so yeah. it, it spikes every night at that time. It wow. gets to a point so where funny. if you put it down, you'll be even more lost when you come back to it. And I mean, the modern day version of it is I used to have a gaming magazine and have to read kind of like how someone had cryptically written what it was. Now you just boot up a let's play and you literally play along with it on your phone and go yep oh he went left there or they she went right there and that's what i'm gonna do so i did that once or twice just to get through some frustrating um kind of areas that i just wasn't paying attention and if you tune out you get a little lost but um i loved how powerful samus becomes as in all the games you get all your abilities back and they start linking them in clever ways that you know open up areas of the map and and that sort of stuff um, I will say, uh, and I'm not going to spoil the ending, um, the final boss fight comes out as like a very fast... It, it's something the game hasn't trained you really for, I would say, mm-hmm. which was uh, a little disappointing. And I, after maybe like my ninth attempt, I was like, this is more Dark Soulsy than I'm used to with the other bosses. I really enjoyed all the boss fights in the game, but I never got like stupidly stuck. I was getting stupidly stuck on the final boss, but I just pushed those extra kind of retries past and did start to see the pattern and uh and got through it and it was super satisfying uh the game also has like a big kind of fuck yeah moment uh which is great and lets you enjoy that um which is all i'll say it which is something that i think should be in more games like this where it's like it's not all about the final smashing your head against a brick wall boss that you're just like i can't get past this it should be about celebrating that you just become really powerful and how is the story going to resolve and um in that sense i found it really gratifying and satisfying and uh, I felt genuinely powerful and I had a connection to Samus in it. And it's made me want to go and play more Metroid games. And I think I'm going to boot up my 3DS and play Samus Returns, or Metro- which is uh, by this same studio. Um, and it was basically kind of like the sort of blueprint for how they were going to make Dread, essentially. So a lot of uh, oh. the gameplays, I think, is, is the same kind of like frenetic speed, a lot of the same kind of powers and stuff. Um, I really enjoyed the Emmys the whole way through. Uh, the um the that, that sort of robot boss type that was in it i think they do some clever things there as well and um yeah i'm keen to see nick are you gonna are you still pushing on with this oh totally like <clears throat> i'm about uh two-thirds of the way through the game um so maybe even maybe like three quarters like i think i only have a couple of hours left um mm-hmm. it's uh i just love it i love it so much like it's totally in my top five that's come out this year my top three think, easily uh, yeah like like you said from a pure just gameplay experience it's just it's so good. It just it, like you can sit down and put five minutes into it or two hours into it, and it's satisfying. Um, I think the the only thing I, I do love the boss fights as well. Like I think the boss fights do a really great job of balancing that fine line of being like a 
a Dark Souls ish, you know, like really challenging boss fight, and a but but has that sort of more Nintendo feeling. You just get this pattern, and obviously there are patterns in most like Souls boss fights and that sort of thing. But there's a lot more randomness. I feel like of when that stuff can come out, and yeah. the and the timing windows are way tighter and stuff. This one is like, you go in there, you get smashed, you go back in, you figure out the first stage. They're you puzzles. Get to the second yeah. stage, you get smashed, you go back in, you now know the first two. Like, and and I tend to not get stuck for too long in anything, and it just it's got a really good sense of progression. So yeah, I'm I'm totally in love with it. The only thing. <clears throat> that I have found is not even negative, but just like a lot, I would say, is the control scheme. And I don't really know how to get around it. It just gives you so many abilities constantly, mm. and they're all awesome. But there was a, uh, there's can a boss you, can fight. You re can you remap buttons at all <clears throat> or no. to have different control layouts? No. Uh, I'm 99% I'm sure you can't because it's like, yeah, you, as Nick says, you get to the point at the end of the game where you're almost encumbered with abilities it's like there's just too many to, even if to, you could mm. it's like it i don't think it would actually do anything because the, there's not the problem is the it's controller. like yeah it's just like each shoulder button becomes like a modifier for your gun and when you're in a bus right. fight where it's like you need to use lasers and missiles and this grapple hook swing thing and but then also you have to train your brain to be like you have to hit l l1 or the left shoulder button to stand still to aim um it, it's like I found myself so many times just like mashing a controller and I tend to not be like that anymore. Like I'm not in that mm. thing where it's like, I don't know what to do right now, but sometimes my brain is just like, it's this button and this button and this thumb. Um, and I don't really know how you do that. Um, At one but, point there's, uh, yeah, morph ball. You need to pull down, pull a trigger, mm. then pull another trigger to modify the morph ball bomb and then press a button to fire that. So that is literally every digit that's on your controller doing totally, something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And if that's so, in a boss fight, like in between jumping or avoiding an attack, it sometimes breaks your brain. Yeah. yeah, and so it's not—it's yeah. not really. Uh, yeah, I don't really think of it as like a negative because I—I I guess they could give you less abilities, but the abilities are just like such a joy, and I like the fact that I never need to feel as though I have to choose like what to hit myself out with. Like I just have everything all the time. So yep. uh, yeah, it's just like oh yeah, you don't need to wrap yourself around it. I have been playing this game as well because I'm an incredibly weak-willed human being. <laughs> uh, and, and last time we spoke about this, I was like, oh, it's nearly worth getting a Nintendo OLED, but I won't get it. And I even I was talking to a friend like a month ago or something, and they were like, oh, are you, are you going to get one? And I was like, no, I want one, but it's probably not worth the money. I'm such a pathetic piece of shit. Um, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, treat yourself. It's treat fine. Yourself. You've got and a lot so, going on. In you know, the words yeah. of Nick, I want one now. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> basically. basically. <laughs> Uh, and I will say, this is so good. <laughs> it's so good. I want to so see good. a side by side comparison. I wish I could show you because uh, the only you reason. You already pack your light? No, I, I, well, I, I could show you the light. Like, this is good content. I played the does whole the light, thing. Does the light have the same screen as the. No, as no. The, the, li no. the light uh. has the same as the, as the original in theory. Or, or maybe slightly. It's well, that's a, what I mean. That's what I mean. Does the light have the same screen? So the, is the, it the, the same comparison in terms of screens? It's, no, it's not. The light has a slightly smaller screen. Slightly but smaller. like, oh. um, so, you know, there, there is a difference. Um, but like, look at, <laughs> look at the difference between the light and the OLED um, in terms of screen size. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, it's wow. It's just yeah. Monstrously huge compared to it, yeah. um, but it is um, even compared to the the normal switch. It is just like so significantly bigger, even though real estate wise, it doesn't. It's not really that much. It's nearly bezelless, which is fantastic. Um, and it's actually about. But the biggest thing is probably like the quality of the screen. The OLED is just so much more vibrant. It it does feel like. A premium device now I think because we're so used to looking in our phones that all have these kinds of screens now mm. if you've got a relatively new phone looking at the switch you are kind of like oh, yeah, I am looking at an older kind of screen but yeah. when I mm. as soon as I took this out of the box it's also like I it's probably just because it's new and I haven't constantly removed the joy cons and stuff but it doesn't have that like flex that my old one did where it feel, like i could really tell that the joy cons were something to take off that they mm. come on and off like they always feel a little like separate this feels much yeah. more sturdy can you um, stop yeah. in your do you stop in your hallway and totally do you sit in your hallway uh, when you come home from work and play pokemon 
I usually go. I usually go up to my roof with my friends who live in the the, the other apartment. Your diverse group <laughs> yeah. of friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it it really does feel like a premium device now, and I have I have absolutely loved it. Like it's just the screen is ridiculously gorgeous, and it is really big. And so playing Metroid on this has been phenomenal. Now I will say that like I don't think it's necessarily worth. Like I don't even play my Switch that much that to really justify this upgrade, except for mm. the fact that. Um, EP Games were running a like trade-in deal where you trade in your old Switch and two games and you got it for $300. And I ended up trading in my old Switch and five games and got it and got this for $200 as opposed to $540. So it was like, oh, that actually, Oof. to me, that actually feels worth it. Like I got rid of a bunch of games that I don't need. Like I never replayed oh, that man. stuff. I, don't know. I feel so like I would... It only cost like me would... 200 bucks to upgrade. And I was like, oh, 200 bucks for that screen. Yes, I'm totally fine for that. <clears throat> I, I feel know. like I would totally do that same thing if it weren't for the fact that we thought we lost a Switch and bought a new one only to find that we didn't lose it and then now have two. Um, so we have two Switches that we don't play. Yeah. You could trade both of them in and get one OLED. That's true. That's true. That's actually the best scenario for yeah, too many Switches. Yeah. Um, and so I did that. And so that to me, I was like, oh yeah, that, that justifies the price. And yeah, I'm in love with it. Like it's just totally beautiful. I bought Tetris connected as well because I'm just like, yeah, Tetris needs to be on this screen. Uh, and it all looks fucking great. So I've heard great things. Uh, uh, and yeah, cool. I think it's very fortunate or probably purposely <laughs> timed that something like Metro and Dread, which, uh, obviously the blacks in it is the big selling point. It turns off pixels, so that does have like really good contrast. It totally but- has that thing of looking at it and going like, "Oh yeah, it's this screen is off." Whereas I look at this one and I'm like, "This screen's a little grey all the yeah. time." Yeah, <laughs> but then I think what people have said is like, "Oh, Metroid as a game is like you know dark and gloomy," but the later levels, and I think Steph, you asked this, it gets really vibrant and it actually mm. is a, has a beautiful contrasted art style that I, obviously mm. I think pops on that. As a, as a good selling point. So timing-wise, that's fantastic. And yeah, any yeah. game that like Tetris Effect and stuff that has vibrant colors is great. I, I, um, I never want to look at one because I don't want to then know what I'm missing. Oh, so I'm totally okay for now. <laughs> go do it, dude. Go trade in your old Switch. Do, oh, like, I'm good. Do it. It is, I'm like good. you guys should go trade it in and you will, if you trade in both of them, if you're not using both of them, it is so, it is so worth it for that. It is, you, you genuinely go like, fuck me. This is actually, this feels like the Steam Deck. Like when you see the Steam Deck and you're like, oh yeah, that's what, that looks cool. The Switch looks shit in comparison. <laughs> it's that, it's fucking that. So yeah. I, I played like 90% <laughs> of my Switch on my TV. I work for EV Games now, by the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played everything on TV in the last two years. I really have barely okay, taken then it. It's absolutely Taking it to bed. Don't do that. Uh, so I, um, do that until I yeah, need to do that, I will I'm definitely upgrade in that case. But now I'm good. Um, and like, I, I don't think I've played a Switch game in two years. Pokemon years, Unite, Peter. Pokemon yeah. Unite. I did play Sword and Shield on it, but yeah. True. And you got a new Pokemon coming out? There's a new Pokemon game coming out, Pete. I know, but it's an old new Pokemon game. No, 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 no. There's a new Pokemon. Oh, you mean the Atri- a- Atrius or whatever yeah, it is, yeah, the yeah. open world thing that looks like absolute crap. <laughs> you can play crap. a crap game <laughs> on a better screen. Yeah, it looks like crap. You played, like no, you played a bunch screen. of stuff. You played Pokemon Snap. <clears throat> you yep. played that Dota that's true. game that's also Pokemon. Pokemon is that Pokemon You played Unite? all the Pokemons. Yeah. That's true. You, you subscribe to the Pokemon I spend channel time on, on my Switch, Switch and then I erase it from my memory swiftly. Yeah. Maybe the OLED Have you bought one? Because I feel like you've bought one you've forgotten already and it's in your pocket <laughs> right now. <laughs> 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 and I do think, I do think, uh, like I said last time, I do think you would really enjoy Metro Dread. But anyway, that's the OLED. Um, mm. And mm. I haven't had too much time to play other games this week. I've just been packing and all that shit. Uh, two quick things. I'm still playing Inscription. Love Inscription. This is the card game that I mentioned a couple of weeks ago from the developer of Pony Island. If you, It's out now. Just go get it. Like, so even if you don't like card games, it's like, if you like card games, it's a really cool card game. If you don't like card games, it's a totally awesome puzzle game with this meta story that is really weird, gets real, gets really weird, um, <laughs> and just has so much personality and fun. It is just a fun, constantly surprising thing to play. So I cannot recommend it enough. And you really don't need to be like a card game fan. The card game mechanics are pretty simple to wrap your head around, but it's like, it's so not a card game. It's a puzzle game with this bizarre story and it's just so creative and clever. Um, anyway, I was so enthusiastic about this a couple of weeks ago that uh, the PR team who are representing the game in Australia reached out to us and were like, hey, the devs 
have made something for you. I'm like, what's this about? And they sent us this. <laughs> How awesome <laughs> is that? Oh my God. <laughs> That's so uh, cool! Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, it like the lips on that thing are the most yep. terrifying part of the I see uh, that as teeth. That's a, that's a, a teeth. That's a teeth. That's 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 oh, the, okay, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, open fair, 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 pockety. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, go to him yeah, talking. Fair, fair, that's, fair. Fair. I thought they were big, about? chunky lips. Oh. And I was there <laughs> for it as well. I, I'm never going to lip shame a pocket. Um, are those stats good, Nick? Those stats are good. Now, that, like that's now, a lot of health, and it, that's a one cost card, mate. That's a one cost card. Now I'm looking at them as lips. Yeah, <laughs> now you it. It. <laughs> you <ruined> it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but it is awesome. Uh, so uh, a massive thank you uh, uh, for that. I think that's such a that's such a fun little uh, bonus, and I've never I've never had that sort of like, hey, here's a thing that we just made for you. Uh, so Daniel Mann Mullins Games uh, is the developer of that, and yeah, thoroughly recommend uh, Inscription. It's that card a, is not in the game, we should clarify as well. It's not in the game. That's no, true. no, no, no. That card yeah. is only in our hearts. Um, uh, and then the final <laughs> thing I wanted to mention, I've only played a tiny bit of this, but I'm really excited to play more. Um, the Rift Breaker. So this is on Game Pass. It's on Game Pass, PC Game Pass. I think it's on console PC Game Pass as well. I believe it's on um, console, yeah. Yeah, cool. And this is like a, this is a combination uh, factory builder game with a top-down shooter tower defense style thing and like i said like i've played a laughingly small amount of this so I, i'm really looking forward to putting more time into it i only bring it up because i'm like i have tried for a while to get into factory building games i did a couple of streams of factory building games there's something mm -hmm. about it though I, I really like the idea of it but i think that it's not it's not like a compulsion or something but i have there's something about it where i'm like i can never be satisfied with the layout of where I'm putting all this stuff. Like, I'm just like, this is not the most efficient way that this could be. And so it's really like, it it actually hampers my enjoyment of it. Cause I'm just you like- You destroy oh, really it all and up. start rebuilding before you've even got the first- Constantly, like, like over yeah, and yeah. over. And, yeah. and everyone who plays factory games is like, don't do that. Just build and get on to the good part of the game and then rebuild. Wait for phase like, two, yeah. Yeah, but I'm like, no, I can't. This is like so much more basic at that stuff um uh, and so much faster like the time that you need to put in to get this stuff out is so much lower that uh it it's way more f not f i guess not forgiving but just like i guess accessible um mm -hmm. to the way that i play these games and then you combine it with a really really fun top-down shooter defense thing and it sort of flips back and forth between these two things and it's just it it ticks this weird part of my brain where I'm just like, oh, both of these things are really satisfying. And you, it, this, it has that same Civ style thing where it's like, I can feel, I play this for like 40 minutes or something. And I thought I had only been <laughs> playing the game for about 15 minutes. And I looked up and it was nearly an hour. I was like, oh yeah, I could see if I started this, like if I start playing this tonight <laughs> after the show, I won't go to bed until about two o'clock. Um, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to checking it out. If you're at all interested in these kinds of things, it's on Game Pass and like it's totally worth the download. It's worth the download just for the amount of fucking foliage that comes out. Mm, when no, you look at it. Look, look at the look at the destructibility <laughs> of this environment. It's I can nuts. tell. I can see you're gathering resources, but that also feels like if you're angry and bored of your factory, you can just go out and take some aggression out on the local wildlife and flora, flora and fauna. By the looks totally. of it, because it just looks satisfying. Totally, yeah. So it's uh, it's very easy to pick up and play um, uh, from like a mechanic standpoint. There's not a, at least not yet, like there's not a huge amount that you need to remember. So yeah, it just seems like this is the kind of game that I have been looking for in this genre. And it was totally off my radar. Even when we spoke about it on Monday on the news, I was like, oh yeah, whatever. And then a couple of people <laughs> were talking about it on podcasts that I listened to through the week. And I was like, oh, maybe I should check this out. And I'm really glad I did. So that's the Rift Breaker. Nice. Cool. nice. That's everything that I've been playing this week. Steph, what have you been up to? <clears throat> this week I um, played just another horror game uh, again. So uh, I would like to tell you about... Hexes! <laughs> <laughs> horror hijinks of the week! 
We have oh, got to get a smoother transitional keyboard phrase <laughs> ready for that. <laughs> I, gave you, I gave you a whole oh, no, no, body it good. telegraph. It was good. It was good. It was a good telegraph. I believe the key phrase is in a segment I'm calling. <laughs> that seems to be what that oh, seems to be the standard. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's clunky though. I like I the smooth the, yeah, the smooth transition. Smooth. Uh, so this week we played a uh, haunt chaser, and we had a uh, OG team of uh, me, Reese, Jens, and Nicrotex, and later a Vexia joined us as well. Um, a lot of these games, I know that I talk about them and they all have very similar mechanics, but, um, you know, as I said, they have a, a couple of identifying features which make them slightly different and totally worth playing, um, despite the fact that I've played so many games like this. So we started off playing the PvE mode, so that was like four of us as, um, uh, you know, ghost hunters or whatever, going in to try and vanquish a ghost thing. Turtle. and. Yeah, turtle, this is. Has that got a turtle? Jukebox, has that turtle. turtle got an Xbox What's Series? What's the fuck? That I still don't <laughs> understand. Good. The turtle. Okay, so when you have uh, we play. Okay, we start out with the PVE um, uh, thing, and this uh, game, the map is really large. So you're in kind of like a a, a sort of small village estate type thing. So there's like uh, an orphanage. Creepy orphanage, great location. Um, there's a, a house. There is a new. There's a church, and then there is an old church. Uh, there is a graveyard, and then there's like a underground tunnel-y thing. Um, so there's quite a few different locations. So you have like a compass thing along the top, um, and uh, you um, uh, basically have to go through and clear off a number of ob uh, objectives in each of these locations. And you can choose to split up or you can choose to work together as a group. Um, what this game has that's really great is outside of just the thing that is haunting you, it has a lot of other horror game uh, tropes and jump scares in it. So it's not just the monster chasing you that is scary. There's a lot of weird stuff. You go into the orphanage and uh, there's lots of jump scares from like Cats things. jump out from behind things. Yeah, or no, just ghosts that like that appear or like weird people with their back to to you standing in a corner with hair right. over their face, like all of that stuff. Um, like uh, DJ just, turtles. Uh, yeah, babies hanging from things, dolls and stuff like just stuff that appears and flashes and 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 so you're always on edge. It's not just the creature. It's like there's a this is a really good tropey horror experience outside of just the the main kind of mechanic of it. Um, uh, then what happens is <laughs> if one of you, the, if you, one of you dies, cause each of these games deal with death quite differently. And in this one, if one of you dies, then you, um, uh, go to the, into the graveyard and there's kind of above ground sort of cement tombs. Mm -hmm. Um, and you, uh, when you're, when you're dead, you can use text chat because you can, you can see the name of the person whose grave it was. And so you, in the text chat, you say, I'm in like Nina Barrow's grave or whatever. And so we can actually go back to the graveyard and there's just like, there's like 20 different graves or whatever. And we have to go through and check the names of all of them. Um, and until we find the one with the right name, the problem is that when we, uh, the longer we spend, <laughs> in one place, the more likely you are to get caught by the ghost, who is a big, creepy looking shadow thing with a scary face. And your one weapon that you have against him is a, a really bright kind of flashlight, which blinds him and sends him off to the other side of the map for a bit. But then the, the light has a very slow and this recharge. this is an AI controlled thing? Yes. Yep. Um, the, the, the light has a very slow uh, recharge. So uh, if you find yourself in a position where you get fa where you're, go up against the monster again, you're defenseless if you don't have your light. So if you're dicking around in the graveyard trying to res people, um, quite often what would happen is the ghost would appear again and then we'd both be in the Oh, are we graveyard. sorry. Are we watching someone in a grave who's also watching the, the, the viewpoint yeah, of the yeah. people who are alive through a mirror? Right. right. I was like, why yes. do they have got a cage on their head? <laughs> yeah. But this yeah. is so them in a go, tomb. Did, picking the, yeah. did that tomb say born 19, 1771, died 1930 something? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure that was probably wrong. 1871. No, 1870. Okay, good. Um when you're in the um when you're in the tomb, yeah, you can. There's like a weird sort of it's like a it's like a tardis -y type thing where you're in a larger space and you can watch people and, and see what they're up to yeah. while you're sort of dead. Um uh so yeah, that's really that's yeah, really cool. fun. The other thing too is that the monster, uh the the ghost monster thing, um uh 
can go invisible, <laughs> in which case the only way to see him is if you look through the camera. For some reason, he shows up on the camera even if you can't see him in real life. Um, so you need to decide whether you want to have your EMF reader out, which gives you like an indication that he's close by. It starts to kind of make that kind of crackly sound and the lights show up on it. Or if you have the camera, then you have a better chance of seeing him, but you're still trying to complete objectives and stuff. So it's difficult to monitor all those things. The turtle mm -hmm. has a little speaker on his back, mm -hmm. um, which which um, sets off the EMF reader. So it's it's basically a device in the game to just confuse you. And so the but turtle so works for the ghost. Random. Yeah, yeah the t the turtle is a ghost henchman. Mm. So he it, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm, it's very mm -hmm. it's almost like a joke that the devs put into the game, and then we're like, let's just leave this in here because it it's, does not it, make sense. Yeah, it feels I don't know like why it, it's there. It feels like it was it, it should be invisible. And it should yep. be like like radio interference or something. Like but it could just, literally yeah. just one be a glowing orb of interference. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they just still, put it. That they would put still it be in scary. A, a turtle yeah. with a speaker is the antithesis <laughs> of being scary. It's like the uh, it's the most undisarmingly like funny thing. That's so I know, weird. It's, but that's what you know. How another thing I've always said with these games is that they're always really, really scary. But there's always one element that's yeah, really yeah, yeah. funny, yeah, and, this is and this is it. Um, so, uh, so that was all really fun. Um, however, where this game really shines is in the kind of PvP mode. So, um, one person can play as the ghost, and you can have up to four people, um, you know, uh, trying to solve the puzzle and and make it out alive and uh a couple of us had a go at this but i would say reese really shined as the ghost he took us a specific and terrifying pleasure in um in terrifying us and kind of toying with us uh mentally mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was really really great so he can go he can go invisible whenever he wants um he can we all use proximity chat and the ghost also has proximity chat. So uh, he would often just creep up behind us and just use his voice and we'd be like, oh my God, he's right here. Um, <laughs> and it was really hard to kind of get the get the jump on him because he was very, very sneaky. Um, he also put together this clip, which is um, an example of uh, his maniacal joy in terrifying us all. Michael Tech's good. Yeah, he's got to the orphanage. I mean, no, he hasn't. He's gone somewhere else. Where has he gone to? <laughs> oh my God, Reese! Was that his scary voice? That's just him. He just means he's close. Yeah, look, Proximity, yeah. Listen, I feel like yeah. you just need yeah. to chill the fuck out <laughs> with this. Right, with this. No. Oh God! Did he just load a shotgun? No, I stepped on some bottles. Oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yep. That's messed up. Good. Good. That's messed there up. We go. I do that all the time. And because you get so involved in what you were doing, and then I'd just be like, and because we have proximity chat, like I wouldn't be able to hear where anyone else was if we'd split up, and I'd be like, I was streaming, so I was talking to chat, and I was like, I think this is the thing, but I can't find where I'm supposed to put the thing. And Reese would be like, Maybe it's over there. I'd be like, Jesus. And I'd look around and he'd be like, hello. <laughs> and then he would kill me. That's right. <laughs> but the only thing that um, that was frustrating, though, I think, is it's, it's another one of those games that has a lot of different settings and modifiers. And it was hard to get the balance of that right. We found that once uh, when we were playing with this kind of PvP setup, once one of us died, um, you know, Reese would know that we would go straight to the graveyard to try and res them. So he would always find us there. Um, and then we were stuck in this cycle of like, I would just manage to res someone before Reese killed me. Um, and then I would be dead. And then that person would come back and try and res me. And then uh, they would die. And then somebody else would come. And it was just like, we ended up spending half the game in the graveyard constantly <laughs> trying to res each other. <laughs> so yeah, you kind of need to um, find settings that um, I guess, uh, are tailored to the people that are playing and um yeah i don't know it's it's, it's it, it was a, i found it very difficult to balance that the other thing that we've played that recently that has a lot of that is uh dread hunger yeah and that has yeah. a lot of survival mechanics mm. rather than just yeah. like time-based or discovery mechanics or anything like that so it's like uh well i mean i guess they are time-based mechanics in in terms of like starvation getting cold 
find yeah. resources to combat those things. Mm. Well, uh, this doesn't have any survival mechanics, does it? It's just go out and solve the puzzles in time, find the pieces, solve the puzzles. No, but but the um, so so the the things that you can modify are like um, the uh, obviously the recharge time of your torch um, yep. and then for the monster you can modify it the monster can teleport to the different locations around the map um and then they have another ability where they can move really quickly and then they have that invisibility thing so um the cooldowns on all those abilities kind of need to be tweaked uh really well otherwise the monster is just like overpowered but then if you mm, tweak yeah. them too much then the monster can, if the anything. monster can't teleport it's really hard to find anyone because the map is so big right um, okay. I, when i was the monster i spent half my time just looking for people and i was yeah. like where is everyone <laughs> <laughs> and and then once we'd figured out the fact that people could see you through the camera, I'd try to sneak up on people. They'd be like, oh, hi, Steph. And they'd use a flash and I'd be like, oh, damn it. <laughs> another, feel- great, another great moment uh, that happened that Nicrotex was telling me about was that he and Liam decided to like, have a romantic moment in the church and their characters were just making out and then we're going and this is when Jens was playing the ghost and they turned around and she was just standing there as the ghost just watching them and was like what the fuck is it the <laughs> same you said torches on her they're like oh shit <laughs> i feel like in a year what what we could do is get a indie game developer and basically make you lead designer on a social horror game and like totally just like gray box it but put something together because by that point just cherry pick all your favorite bits yeah and and just see what you come up with as like as a fan of the genre (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's because like, I've I really enjoyed all of them. Like there's some that I love more than others. Like I would make like a top three list probably when I get to the end of this. I love a of, list. Like, of, of, yeah, yeah, so does our audience. Um, of like the best, I think, horror games of the bunch. Um, but I've enjoyed all of them because they've put a different spin on it in a really, in, in a unique way. And I've enjoyed kind of discovering those differences as we've kind of gone into the, each of these games. But I would say this one I've particularly enjoyed because of the, um, just the size of the map is really good. And just the amount of like horror stuff in there and jump scares and stuff from in the environment as well. I really, really enjoyed it. Like the first time we played the PB, stuff we were both I mean we were all just really on edge and just there was at one point we stepped through a mirror into some kind of other dimension realm like it was really cool they had heaps of stuff in there so um, I really enjoyed it I wonder cool. if there, is there a point of diminishing returns when you start throwing every horror, like I was going to say, and in the kitchen sink, but every horror trope in versus like, again, not discrediting that being scary, jump scares are scary, all those things in there are. But it's like, for me, I, it's always the the real of the setting or the like, the more this feels like something that I might have seen or experienced in real life, the more it like chills me to my core versus like, that looks great, but also that looked like a haunted house, just ratcheted up like with everything. There's a scarecrow, there's a man in a well, there's think- like, yeah. Yeah. I think that's true of a single player horror game, but when you're playing with friends, you kind of want all of those tropes. You're yeah, you're all right. just on edge all the time r- waiting for the next thing that's going to scare you. And if there's if there's not a thing that comes regularly, then you start to kind of get a bit comfortable and too kind of relaxed. Yeah, that's fair enough. Because you're all just kind of like, well, this isn't actually that scary and I figured out what the mechanics are. Let's just focus on the mechanics of the game. Whereas when there's like when they've chucked everything in there and there's also a wonderful anticipation when you walk into a room and you see like a tricycle and a ball and you're like, oh, that ball's going to roll out by itself or whatever. And then it doesn't. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and then a turtle so feel, comes yeah, in with I, the speaker and you're like, I did not see that I, coming. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. <laughs> so that is Haunt Chaser Peter. Take us as far in the opposite direction as you possibly can. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums up Townscaper, <laughs> um, which is a game that's been out on PC since I think it's 2019, maybe 20, uh, and has made its way to Switch and just came out on Android and iOS. Um, so I installed it on my phone and started to have a play. And I don't know if you could call it playing. There's not much of a game to it. Mm-hmm. It is a tile placing ambient experience. Love it. Um, Love it. Even I it's... mean, even the developer says there's no gameplay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, and and I knew that going in. This better be I, a penis. 
No, it's not a penis. Sorry to disappoint. Oh, you let us down. Um, what does your penis look like? <laughs> <laughs> a small uh, town. It's very it, square. It, it's <laughs> it's super sweet. Uh, it gives you uh, basically the only tools it gives you are colors, the colored sides of the buildings, mm-hmm. um, and uh, and it's a it's a it's a grid in a way. I mean, it is totally a grid, but it's not a perfectly square grid. Um, you can turn on the grid view and see which tiles are oddly shaped. Um, otherwise, you just discover it as you place a thing and it goes like it pops out in a star shape kind of thing. And you're like, oh, cool, that's cute. Um, it is very much just cute. And mm-hmm. I um, I did, this was my very first just like play around in it. And then I did no, another really? one. really? And then it's I did another one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you really, you don't come up with anything else. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you touch. <laughs> I, I think it was. It probably plays best on PC, where you can mm. like really accurately know where you're about to place the next thing. The only thing that, that is frustrating in this game is when you click and it puts a tile behind the thing you've built. Like, because of the perspective, the plane that you're on, you put a tile yeah, right. a kilometer away in the ocean, and you're like, "Oh, I'm yeah, right. that, attached <laughs> to that." Um, the 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 real beauty to it is how it um, evolves once you snap pieces together, uh, and balconies form like that. Once uh, mm. you know, it, it kind of is this evolving thing as you go, which is really cool. Um, the only thing that I would love to see in it to give it more impact for me it just didn't it doesn't have enough you don't see it getting enjoyed enough the most beautiful thing that happens is you build buildings near each other and then it strings up little laundry lines between them mm-hmm. and it's like this beautiful like oh, so Mediterranean. You wanted, to have, you wanted to have the feeling of like a living I wanted to place come that has a life yeah i wanted to come to life once you mm. go this is it Yep. I, this is my thing. This is my. This is what I want it to. Or to it's look growing like as you grow. It grows with you, and you're like, okay, that's I, making. Well, well yeah. that's that's a game element. That's like roller coaster ty- tycoon, and it's like, oh, cool. Look how many people are in my park now. All I really want to do is hit play, and then just watch this beautiful thing. Watch the waves kind of roll up against it. Yeah, birds fly around it, and people kind of walk back and forth in it. Mm-hmm. And there's a, there's like, there are birds that are like perched on the roof and if you replace that tile they f- fl- flutter off sometimes there's a, a a bird that kind of like does a big kind of um circle of your the thing that you you throw together um obviously this was a monstrosity and so i started again <laughs> it's still, it it's like, still got it, i i think for me i think that the it's one of these things that like i wouldn't i don't think i would like this because of the total lack of guidance like you said like i think <laughs> yeah. i need like um build a town that has six houses in it and so then at least i'm like okay i know i'm heading towards something but i think that it's one of those things where it's like the tech behind what's going on here seems to be quite astonishing um in terms of just like how it knows what you want to do and adapts and instantly so i think it's almost like it's too smart for its own good in that like i can't appreciate how incredible this is the thing that it is doing it's like yeah. plopping houses in 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 a sort of like they just appear and then adapt and then you add another one to it and it becomes a bigger house as opposed to like two houses jutted there's together. more going on Do under you know the I mean? hood than you're being shown yeah then just, yeah. just totally t- totally simplistic but, thing but but yeah but i don't think like it that didn't impress me it, because i've seen no, it in sim city yeah right like, okay yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah fair like, enough it's not like the tech is like extremely unique mm. um it is beautiful i really love the art style mm. and like the little staircases and stuff and the way that the water, water moves around it but yeah it's it's seven dollars fifty for basically like an art piece that you have to build yourself mm-hmm. um which you know if you think about i can't remember exactly what it's called but it was like a, a snow globe kind of app mm-hmm. that you could just kind of like poke and things would happen in it. Like it was just like world with the, the um like big yeah, pines no, no, and stuff growing out of it. I can't remember. Yeah. It was like a simulation of yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, hemispheres. Um yeah. and I just remember being like entranced by that because it already was a thing that I could just witness. Mm. <laughs> Whereas I just want to witness the life of this and it doesn't have enough life for me. 
And yeah, on the flip side, for seven dollars fifty, I feel like I like totally. I built this shit thing, and then nothing happened. In it. <laughs> <laughs> not, on the flip side, the obvious point to make is, as you said, like it's it's actively not adding any gameplay. But having played a couple of those games I've mentioned in the last few months, being like Islanders, and there was another one. It's it's amazing how those games have found ways to very very softly add a gameplay element, which can be it doesn't I feel like you know encroach on the satisfaction and the beauty of what's going on with the, the town building. And sometimes it can be as little as just a small ticker or a timer or a gratifying sound or just something that gives you a reason to come back and keep playing. Because again, I'm saying this has to have that. I appreciate that things can be made that can be more art focused and just there as a sort of a non fail state experience. But I think we're at a point now where it doesn't have to be a video game. It doesn't have to be an art piece. It can be, it can, it can find a happy medium. And this, I f- I think personally could have benefited from that, but um, yeah. yeah, yeah. It would be nice to have like. I think I would be. I, I think I would go back to it uh, if it had more life to it, and I could go and build a new version of it. Or if it had, like Nick said, like just little challenges or guidance pieces to go like build a port town, and yeah. then like you decide that you've completed it, but. That's what it gave me. It's pushed you know, in the like, direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and just quickly, I take it there's no, because again, just something that could be added there to motivate you. It, I take it there's no social hub sharing element, you know, within the you game. Can, that says- you, can, you can save your designs. Um, I don't know yeah. if you can upload them to a shared place or whether it's just about like you can load back into that design later and start a new sure. one fresh. Because again, um, that, that but feels I did like not save this that- design. No, that that feels like again something that's that is not gameplay focused, but is like, and you're able to upload a still of your image to a hub and and flick through other people's up port towns and go, oh, that's cute. They made it this way. I made it this way. Just something. Yeah, there. but it's I mean, it's so just not the game that these people are making. It's totally, like they're so making the the interactive toy that yeah disappears when you're done with it. Star thing. Yeah. Okay. Fair cool. Enough. Uh, Townscaper. Yeah. Uh, so beautiful. Uh, but. Ultimately unfulfilling. Experience. Um, and then uh, the other thing that I've been doing has been uh, another empty experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a lot of sweaty bullshit in Destiny 2. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I went to play something this week, and, you know, on the Monday show, I was like, oh, I'd be... Um, I'd be interested in playing Rift Breaker. It looks kind of like the kind of thing that I would get a kick out of. And like <laughs> all these things are there. And I just kept going. We've back been saying Trials yeah, of you, Osiris. we think you'd love Metroid as well. That's Dude, on the Switch. Yep, You've got totally. two of those. Uh, and doing uh, Grandmaster PVE stuff. Like, um, let me start with Trials of Osiris, which is like the super sweaty PVP mode. It's 3v3. Um, I've been playing with uh, Liam uh sam and eva ray and uh yep we just keep doing it (laughs) you play against other teams of three and if you win seven games in a row you get guns that you can't get any other way so you get like cooler versions of guns that you can mod in a in a cooler way so that you look cool when people inspect your character uh the the thing about destiny pvp is that it's god awful uh (laughs) Destiny is a really satisfying shooter. Everything in it feels good. But there's so much broken. There's always something broken in the game. Shatter Dive since it came I, out. I heard you down the hall just being like, fucking Shatter Dive. <laughs> <laughs> is like just stupid. Uh, it's like, you know, it, people who play Destiny understand. Uh, it, but the thing that the, the real hook of it is like, it's still got the... The, the aggressive competitive edge to it all of the systems of trials of osiris are designed to uh really evoke those feelings that i get from used to get from halo have had three and a half thousand hours of in dota uh and and i'm enjoying a, playing a different game in a way that i i really want to be good at it even though the game decides no you're not allowed to be good because shadow dive um, <laughs> I think I've asked you about this before, but in trials, at least, is there like some sort of ranked thing that's pitting you against people of equal skill level or close to? So there's uh, illusions of matchmaking 
Um, okay. What do you mean by illusions? There's, there absolutely is matchmaking. Everyone, everyone's, no one's fully aware of exactly how it works. What we think is you got to win a, you, you buy a ticket, you got to get seven wins on that ticket, and you go flawless, and then you get good stuff because you went flawless. Uh, the first three uh, matches that you play on that card, so up until you have three victories, supposedly that is a, a match made. Uh, system based on skill and then the rest of the card is based on how many wins people have on the card so you might come up against someone on your fourth game come up against people who are way worse than you or way better than you just because they have three wins on their ticket and they were mm. match made up until that point as well it's such a small player base that it's just a it's just a mess like of it's <laughs> when you think about what you want really good competitive pvp to be if you have a 50% win rate, it's designed well. Hmm. <laughs> like that, that means that you're playing against people who are as good as you and it's about making better decisions than them. Hmm. Whereas <clears throat> to get a seven win ticket, you probably have three close games and then you have four super fucking easy games and you have a card that has a mercy which lets you get one fail once on, on that run to seven victories and you get stomped beyond all belief by people who are just way, 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 way better than you. So anyway, there's not much, I don't want to say much more about it other than that, like every time I've gone to play something else, it's been the, the desire to play something competitive that's pulled me back into that. And then the other side of that is the stuff that is actually really brilliant about um, the, the end game content that Destiny offers, which is the PVE side of things, which is um, brand master challenges in uh in strikes and in uh their raids as well again you get better gear from doing it uh and it's very much about knowing the game as well as you possibly can and utilizing every tool that the game has built into it and that means wearing the right mods using the right gear uh and so for people who have played a bit of destiny they would have done strikes before it's a it's a really fun thing to do in Destiny. You play through a story mission that happened seasons ago, but you kind of just get pushed through this like funnel of well-designed beats in a story story mission. Uh, the Grandmaster version of that means that you can't change your gear once you launch into it, uh, and you're gonna need you're gonna come up against champions, which require specific mods to your gear or your weapons in order to be able to take them down at all. You could walk in there without being prepared and come up against something that you cannot kill because you're not equipped to kill it. Um, so that's that's where it comes to like you spend you spend 15 minutes setting up your mods before you even launch into it. And so once you get in a groove of it, then you want to do like five or six runs because you spend so much time getting time. ready <laughs> that you need to just like grind it out, do one, learn from that do the next one a bit quicker and then just try and get a good time of just like getting through because again you're just rolling for you you're getting a random roll of a of a quote unquote good weapon but you might get a shit version of that weapon that made all of that time worthless so <laughs> that's what the grind of the end game is is like get get the get the better version of torturous. the torturous yeah i really do think that destiny destiny is this weird game i don't think we're gonna see another game like destiny for a very long time of yeah. being like i i can't believe it's still around it it has it's like obviously it's core like and we've spoken about it it's core combat and gameplay is so good that it manages to survive almost at this point what is a weekly own goal like they <laughs> there is never destiny is never in the news for destiny has added this really great thing it's destiny has removed half of destiny that you already paid for destiny are making you pay for dungeons uh you need to get the fucking like massive version of the next expansion and in two years time they're going to remove those dungeons as well destiny is broken because of x y and z and yet people still play destiny and it's like it's just it's astonishing it's it's like I love I love this game, but at the same time, everything you've described this week, Pete, I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing with your life? But then at the same time, I'm like, yeah, no, I get it though, because it's like hella fun. So yeah, this is but I think also it's because like this is such a small portion of what is the broader Destiny experience. Like I have never touched Trials, and I never will. I have no interest in it. But like, um, 
But, I it's think the on, Des- uh, but it's the ongoing thing. I think that's the thing. It's the ongoing part of Destiny. Like, Destiny between expansions, this is Destiny between expansions. This is the, like, seasonal drop content shit that comes out that, like, keeps you yeah, coming back. But, that- but I think also it's, like, at, the, at its heart, it's still, it's it's an MMO, really. And so it's, like, you'll do shit things to get good gear, and that's kind of what an <laughs> at MMO least it's does. Like fun. It sucks you into repetitive yeah, totally. bullshit yeah. to be yeah. able to get. The minute you want to talk about repetitive <laughs> bullshit? Let's let's start talking about new world. Like at least this is fun <laughs> to play. Um, yeah, cool. Like new world. I know you do, Steph. That was that was a shot directly across your bow. <laughs> I'm just wondering now if I have enough time to just get back into Dota before Halo comes out. <laughs> just, just just drop Destiny entirely. I still got to do the Grandmaster raid. <laughs> It's yeah, just, that's, that's what I'm I gearing mean, towards, right? Like I feel got, like at, at this point so it's irresponsible. This game. At this point, it's irresponsible of us to allow you to talk about yeah. this on on the show because it's some sort of like heroin addict talking about how good heroin is each week. Yeah, and just yeah. Going, I can't believe we're just sitting here and letting him say all this stuff. <laughs> we need an intervention. Um. So how? Lo- when does this end? That's the question. Just in general? <laughs> so, like, this <laughs> season, I think they're going to reset. I think they're going to do something at the uh, anniversary content drop. Yeah, right. That might make, but uh, like it could be, it could be that we're, it could be that the current season part, season that we're grinding is just going to run until February, like yeah, the next, on. the next actual expansion. So, by that point, if I play the current rate that I'm playing at the moment, I'll have a season level of like 500 or something. I think I'm yeah, at. Yeah, right like mid 200s because i'm trying to get so your gear caps out at the moment at i can't even remember the number are we at a big are we number 21 30 or something a big Nine? number something uh and and we're 20 13 30 so we're at 13 51 is to do this gear just by grinding, yeah, right? Yeah, the that, and that's, that's so much time. That's so much. So time. we have the Correct. we have the highest level gear, and then we've been grinding <clears throat> to get extra levels on top of that. And I only want a one sentence answer for this. But what are you doing after the show, Pete? Uh, we're doing the checkpoint in the Vog uh, <laughs> Grandmaster raid, uh, so that we can get the little purple word <laughs> eventually for fucking Vog. I don't know what that means. It's just Master uh, cool. Vogue, isn't it? It's, like, it's, it's a Master title. Vogue. It's a title. He wants to, to get to be a fair, specific title. To be Before. fair, the, uh, they announced the, the, some of the new gear that came out with the like Halloween festival or whatever. Uh, I logged in uh, and I, I bought silver and bought a, a, the Titan dinosaur helmet and it fucking slapped and running around looking like a dinosaur. So that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Destiny, pretty cool. Destiny 2, pretty good game. Uh, all right. So There's that also is. also Halloween skins in New World. <laughs> I also bought the back. I bought Steph. the. I bought the Batman Tumblr in Rocket League, and now every time I play Rocket League, I go, no problem. (laughs) (laughs) I am vengeance. (laughs) So that was the Doctor Who, the Edge of Reality, Pistol Whip, uh, Metro Dread, the Switch OLED, Inscription, Rift Breaker, Haunt Chaser, Townscaper, and Destiny 2 Sweaty Bullshit. Uh, That's a lot of video (laughs) games, and we'll be back with more video games after this word from our sponsor. Next time you want a mint, reach for a death mint. 
Disclaimer, deaf mints aren't actually mints. Eating a deaf mint is tantamount to and quite literally is cannibalism. Where would you even start? If you were going to eat a human starting with the head, that means you're straight up copying a mouthful of hair and that's no way to eat a person. You should start with the feet, nibbling on each individual toe just to get used to the taste of human flesh. Then work your way up to the ankle. The shin is mainly just bone so you won't fill up too fast like bread at the start of a meal. Then it's just one mouthful at a time until you get to the neck and yes, now you're heading into head territory but by this time it should all seem pretty normal and you're thinking, well I've just consumed a whole man. What harm is a small amount of hair going to do to me now. Deaf Mints, available at the candy aisle in all participating supermarkets. <coughs>
And do you have names, perhaps? There you go. Maybe print that on some team t-shirts. Oh, baby. God is, Why is this turning me on. Why is this turning me on? Each of you would be adventurers. The voice. Be presented with an yeah. opinion-based survey it's, on it's your It's Razzy, Razzy, Razzy Vibe. Pick the yeah. options that best mm. suit you. I know you. You'll pick the top Step three for each prompt you're given. Also, be sure to pick them in order of preference. One will grant the most points, then two, three, Ethan and Winters. so on. Ethan Winters. Once everybody has made their choices, I'll mix everyone's answers together and then Everyone. sort them from most to least popular. So let's start with... Like a list. It's late at night. What as seen on TV product are you ordering? So, okay. just to clarify, we're on one team. Yeah, the audience is the other team. So the audience. Yeah, it's four against 143. Okay, late at night. What as on TV product you order? <clears throat> now we don't we want to tell each tell... other what we've answered just yet. Yeah. Because we don't want the audience to know. Yeah. But once we start playing, that's when we can have conversations about it. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna go legit. Well, there's one oh, of these yeah. ones that I don't know what it is. What do you mean? No, it's it, no. It, that's the, and that's the best one. That's the best one, Steph. It's Wait. not a thing yet. So no one's yeah. We're not working mm. together yet. In theory, we're all still working like we. Call yeah. me a pessimist, but the timer's half. Empty. I'm submitting. I'm submitting. I've submitted. I, ha I have submitted as well. I've I submitted am the, with the three correct choices. Uh, just so everyone knows, the audience is playing as bugs in disguise. <laughs> They oh, are so, so consensus between them all. No, we got to come up with um we got to come up with suggestions for a team name. And the suggestions were gutters, now that I've cum guzzlers. No no gum and gum cuzzlers. Because that, that gum was the character that I then, saw in Destiny. He was called okay, good. He was called Gum Cuzzler. <laughs> and then there was just the cums. No, and then the mine cums. was answer. the cums. Sorry. And then mine was right Destiny toy. Hurts People. <laughs> no, no, Destiny comes. We're talking over the rules again. Wrong. I'll be taking oh yeah, pay attention. Since you've each so now there's like a. With you, you'll be starting with what? It's Family Feud. Let's it's Family Feud. It's Family the Feud. The reward is torches you that you accumulate, and the penalty Which is losing. Okay, guys. We're up. I, we're up okay. first. Once you have I'm picking. Uh, it's a, uh, this player to I, the selection. I picked Each Innovative Blender second. I picked that third. I okay. think so it's definitely. Can I ask one dumb question that we can keep playing? This, does this involve the 171 answers consensorized by the bugs in disguise? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. I, cho I chose uh, my you would just number cheat. one for me was electronic yes. yeah. dog groomer because um, I, because of the Scotty effect. Mm -hmm. Blanket with sleeves. Blanket with sleeves. Blanket with sleeves. Yeah. No, I put that, I as, I put that as, as number well. three. I put that as number three. I just feel like. One. I feel I'll like say gap not... filler. What the fuck is that? I went unbelievably strong. Glue is one. I, and, yeah, and I, I put that put as two. Blanket with sleeves and innovative blender. I did yeah, blanket I put... with sleeves, unbelievably strong glue, and dog groomer. So well, yeah. I put unbelievably strong glue as well, and that was my second one. Uh, innovative blender was third. Carsick gap filler was one because it's the kind of bullshit that you see Hang on TV. On. You buy like I'm you telling buy the audience this. We've got like 43 TV. seconds. Yeah, but they're they're, they're going to start to work it, this shit out. Yeah, for sure. It's their but thing. I, and, yep. I think but, we go unbelievably strongly because, because we because we all put some input into it. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I didn't pick it. I know, I know, I know. But three of us did. All right, fine. Yeah, got three of and us picked. It's vague enough that it feels like an answer that people would be drawn to. I'm gonna it's choose like, the door. How strong is unbelievably strong? Choosing the door. Choosing, Choosing the door. I reckon it's one or two. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. I think there's a yes. torch there means yeah. it was in the top three. Second. Second. Blanket oh, with right, sleeves, I think, is probably a good. Good call. No, no, I think it's a bad call. I think oh, it's really? a bad call because it exists. Yeah. It's like, it's a thing. No one's picking an actual thing that exists. I think well, it's then what about number, electronic dog I think it's actually probably rumor. number one. I think it's actually probably number one, but we really? don't Are our four answers uh, more weighted pill. against their 200? As uh, a I don't... I, I don't know, why but they're not so gonna, confused yeah, about the mechanics. They're, but they're not coordinating. <laughs> this is why no one invites me to board game nights. If there are two hundred, <laughs> what do you mean Catan? Why are we? <laughs> Where is this Catan? They can, they, can, they, they can coordinate in the chat. They can coordinate in the chat, unless oh, we go to a mo have only you ever chat, seen, please, mods. Have you, have you ever seen Twitch <laughs> chat do it? Blanket with sleeves. Number one. It's number one. Chant. Blanket with sleeves is number one. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. 
Seventy-six percent of the audience guessed correctly. Oh, so the you audience are so boring. boring. So See. Nick, you're now picking. But it's obvious. And you got to go. It's Family Feud, mate. Okay, so I would say innovative uh, blender or car seat gap filler. I think car seat Steph's gap mu- filler is Steph's mushroom. Steph's mushroom is shit. Look at its eyes. I think. It's dumb. I think, I, no one knows what it is. I think it Steph could be gap, right so that electronic things can't program. slide down in between your car seats. If you have to think, explain uh, what it is, then it's too weird. It, I don't. Innovative. It's literally the title, car seat Blend. gap filler. I just took Blender? those words and put them in a different order, and you were like, oh, okay. <laughs> no. I think maybe You're going blender, right? A blender, yeah, blender, oh, but, blender, but right. it's innovative. But Dog Rumor could be, could have been swayed by the audience's oh, input Oh, but like, well. like, Dog Rumor, oh, I don't know, like, like, you get that at Kmart, you go get yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's Manscaped for dogs. I think Innovative Blender, the word yeah, innovative the, is the yeah, thing that sells, it doesn't matter what yes, it is. Yes, But yeah. it's like, and this is why you buy it. And I it's just also don't like, think so, I just don't think so, no one's buying a guess? fucking blender. Yeah, what's your I would choose, I would choose Dog Groomer or I would choose cleaning product. Yeah, I could be. I could go powerful cleaning product. Nick chose blender. Oh, oh, that looks like it's it. Nice. Damn it! Yep. Got it's it. because it's in it because you can imagine the, the commercial, all the things it could blend. Everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Car seat gap filler seven. Yeah, that's because all of you lack imagination. Let's see who's currently leading in the poll. Couldn't possibly imagine what that would this be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we smashed him. Yeah, fuck I him. thought it was like this Sally's all clear that you like you, you pump yeah, yeah. it in between and it expands and hardens. <laughs> and you're like, well, nothing's going. Oh, my phone was under there. I would not I want to fall into a pool. Oh, it's another round. Easy, easy. These are all quite. Well, I don't want to fall into a pool of any of these. No. Yeah, that's the, that's the or point. there's some that I would want to fall into. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, like one of them, you actually pay to go in. I don't know. I feel like it's that thing of just pick the ones that are the most interestingly written. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. mud's boring. No one's picking mud. Oh, the we, have to, we have to pick four now. Do we? Oh shit. Okay. Oh well. Uh, okay. Says pick pick one, it says fourth. pick one more. <laughs> You're right. It's four. Was I not meant to talk, Pete? I don't get this game. I don't understand either, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You Just almost came at me. I was like, this could be like, mud. And you looked at me like, what the fuck? And I was like, wait, I don't know. <laughs> this is like, when did what what did this happen with? What were we doing where it was like, you kept asking Every questions and, and Pete was like, right. I don't know. Like, I haven't played <laughs> yeah. any further Let's than this. Clock. And, and you kept going. So how does this work? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Some computer game. Is that in the news? The I feel like that was a bit more challenging. This time, I'm not looking for the top Back for blood. Three, oh my god, are you single, lady? I'm looking for the top four. Two, three, and four. Oh, we don't oh, know. We're not we don't the top answer. One. Shit. Oh, well, wait, I what? Bugs in disguise are going first. Oh, bugs in disguise are we going don't first. want okay, the. Oh, okay, oh, okay, right. No one's so speculating. Tricky. No one's yeah. speculating. You don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't want the top answer. I think it could be beef. Top answer is mud. I'm not sure if it's beef, Carl, but it could be. But it could be. Is your man like chicken? No, it was nine. <laughs> it was going to say nine. This is party back gonna, eight. Yeah, party. well, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't. Two, three, and four, chat. That's what they want, yeah. Chat, say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> chat, show <laughs> sweet mustard. Nation, guys. Yeah. He sounds right. Oh! oh. That's the first time we've seen nada. That's funny because yeah. Oh, what's first? Yeah, of course Holy it was because shit. It's what I put as first because it's what I put as first too. That's the I worst thing understood. you could fall with. That's the worst so thing. Sweet must. It's got to be baby. You want the second one? You want the second one? Steph, and Steph, you're in control of this one. Oh, I am. Reckon no one <gasps> wants to fall into a pool of baby shampoo. But no, I agree. Baby shampoo, shampoo is at least clean. Yeah, but think about the other things. Everything else was dirty. It'd get in your eyes. No. I think lukewarm coffee. Maybe shampoo coffee. doesn't hurt your eyes. Okay, you okay. Enemies, no tears. tears. Enemies, tears. Are, enemies, tears are interesting, and so they're definitely a two, three, <laughs> Not or that four. quantity. <laughs> no, I think Burn lukewarm your skin coffee. Off. Lukewarm coffee, and then and my enemy is it. a good thing because that means my enemy has been crying, and I like. No that. one's thinking really? that. They saw it. It was interesting. They clicked on it. It's definitely my enemy's tears. No, no, no. no, 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 no it's heart. lukewarm heart. coffee, and then Dr Pepper. I think lukewarm coffee is three. It's follow your heart. 
Let's yeah, choose Luke Wong. Let's, let's do Luke Wong okay, coffee. Perfect. You got nine seconds. You got it. But baby really shampoo is Luke 100% Luke on coffee? this list. Like, oh. I would love to fall into a pit of lime jello. This is, a, this is like a six. Good torch. This is good, good. torch. Good. 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 Luke Wong coffee? Yeah. Well done. I'd like. Well done. I'd, I'd do that. Because, because, because everything else on this, lime jello, mud, yeah. whipping cream, ice cold Dr. Pepper, are all either delicious or something that or people mud. actually pay money <laughs> to go to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the baby shampoo, it's like, I just think, I feel like that would just make you really clean. So you, baby so shampoo so saying, often has no more tears in it, which means it wouldn't sting your eyes, Nick. So it you're wouldn't saying, sting your eyes. Not in that. Uh, we've had this conversation 30 seconds ago. <laughs> it had that kind of quantity. <laughs> not in that quantity. We were just talking well, about that. Well, they picked Dr. Pepper. Now, I wouldn't want to fall into Dr. Pepper. Oh, this one sucks. Yeah, it's fucking it'd be, awful. It'd be sticky, yeah. sticky. Yeah. You wouldn't want to drink it. And just sticky and disgusting. I was second. Second. I like, the, I like the chat. Good pick, Bugs. <laughs> Good pick, Bugs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. All right, I'm up. Yes, you're up. Yes, you're up. Yes. Go I feel like gonna, he's gonna, gonna choose. He's gonna cho choose the enemy's tears, and it's gonna be oh, wrong. That's right. He he went hard for enemies. We were after number four. We're after number four. So it <sighs> actually is like I would say mud. It's right I mean, in, in the that middle. Case, I would love. Mud. I would love to go into a fun. pool of mud. What are you talking about? You'd come out amazing. Okay. Okay. Well, then if it's not mud, Nick, what would be yours? Out of it's the baby shampoo. It's a hundred percent baby it's shampoo. Not baby shampoo, no, it's Nick. Not baby Who shampoo. wants to go swimming in a pool of baby shampoo? The rest hey? of these, I would, I would yes, pay I do money want to go, to swimming go swimming in a pool. No, of shut baby up, Pete. What's your vote? Like, oh, this right. is how this works. Uh, it's, a, it's a democracy. It's a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> democracy <would> manifest. <laughs> uh. I think I would pick baby shampoo, but I, I'm happy for you to follow your heart as well. You're picking. I sure you pick. am. It's up to you. Oh, oh you fucking. Oh, it's a good thing. Oh, oh, it's, it's a seven foot. It's a seven foot. Eight. <laughs> it's too dumb. It's too, it was too yes. dumb an animal. It also was too dumb. It was too stupid. And also because it was a, you don't want to fall into it. The idea that you could generate a pool enemies of tears. Worth, or a That's what I'm saying. It's a good thing. Your enemies an crying. It's great. It's great. Oh, I'm, I am. I, I know this is a video game. We're all friends. I'm irrationally angry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew in my heart that, that was a terrible decision. I did. Ha I, I think I work out how the game works out. We're <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not going to be done. it. It's oh. not going to be it. Okay, yeah, okay, sucked okay, in, okay. Nick. It's a well-armed tapeworm. <laughs> oh, it's fucking close, though. It's way better than the Eight. fucking my enemy's tears. <laughs> now we know it's not my okay, enemy's so tears. You're it's... fucking welcome. It's mud or cream? No, cream yeah. would be great. Cream would be great. It's definitely Jello mud. is another sticky mud. one. The only thing is that mud oh, is mud. used in like spa treatments. That's the only yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Oh, no, it's mud. I'm... It's it's definitely gonna be mud. You can just oh, you can, you can't eat all the rest. But it can't. No, it can't be mud. It, like like all of these. It's not like they're saying you can't have a shower after you do it. I would want to go swimming in a pool of Jello, in a pool of whipping cream, and a pool of mud. All of those yeah. are great. Whipping things. cream. Yeah. Whipping cream yeah. is yeah. like yeah. is also like has a sexy connotation. So I feel oh, like whipping, good. whipping cream is definitely. Like, you come out, you come out of the and pool and like fucking rancid milk. Yeah, and then no, you go have cream. a shower. But like no, you come cream. out of that no, pool, cream. you could be naked and you come what out if you know completely dressed shower? in cream. Dressed in cream. Yes, good work, good work, Pete, good work. No. Bad work, Peter, bad work. No. They were all bad. They were all things that we'd want to do. Only it's mud. It's mud. Feel lucky. It's, it's lime jello. It's 100% mud. It's lime mud. jello. It's lime Pick lime jello. Lime no, every, that would be the thing that you want to fall into. Uh, but you'd bounce out. off it. Yep. You'd bounce off yep. it. You couldn't swim in it. It's not a pool. It's just like a. Wait, is like it our really... turn now or the audience turn? It's their no, turn. It's the so that's why it's, we that's chose why it's that? the lime jello. Why? It's the dastardly yeah. bugs. Yeah. I know, that's what I'm fucking saying. Oh my god, half of this call don't understand how this game is being played. Yeah. It's confusing. <laughs> Nick, you don't get any right to be self-righteous when you, you you're like, it's definitely, definitely baby, baby shampoo. shampoo. I had, I had, I had the whole list right. I had the whole list right, except for coffee and Dr. Pepper were reversed, but I had picked all of them. 
That's true. I want to oh, play Pico Park and Calm Down. I want Destiny everyone, captain. I want everyone yes, so watching right now to lick my whipped four. cream covered okay. balls. My God. But instead they were covered in baby shampoo. Oh, Peter! No one wants that. But no one was crying. Best friend. Stupid. All right. We're making new Pokemon. What the hell? So this is a new Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, how uh, I'm fairly certain all of these are already Pokemon. Uh, these are all so is. weird. It's going to be so hard to pick because they're so they're all awesome. They're all awesome. This is where <laughs> gosh, my shine, enemy's so baby tears are ready. We're picking five. What was that last one? Are we going? Are we going? Are we, we going? We don't know um, what we have to pick. Earnestly, Follow your heart. Like, I, don't yes. you. I don't want to hear your voices right now. We're following our hearts. Who <laughs> more? <laughs> <gasps> oh, but, okay. Mm, okay. but I have a feeling this one's gonna be like now pick all the ones that aren't that are bad or do you know what I mean like pick eighth seventh and sixth by the time I pick my answers and they disappear from the like pick screen I've completely forgotten yeah what I picked and in which order <clears throat> yeah the order that I I feel like the order is really mm. difficult. Because like I yeah. just I, I feel the same way about all of my answers and that they're all great. Well, this one was, <laughs> this one was hard because I feel like you Come like on, I go. went Tabs really earnestly with this let's of going yeah. like yeah. what can I imagine actually as Pokemon? As but are you saying as an effective Pokemon, Pokemon with a strong oh, attack, or are you thinking okay. of one that you fall in love with as an endearing twist. part? I was thinking of like I can visualize round, that thing. Okay, yeah, right, popping out of a ball. It's got to be cute. So you'll as long as like, it's covered I couldn't, in spray. I couldn't visualize it. Then seven, then, well, you oh, know how God. to count backwards. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, it is, it is. Eight, seven, six. You, but I'll spill the beans once we're inside. Ready? Like, I can't imagine a light bulb with a medical So how does, but how does the trial. point it's system work? It's just like the previous two caverns, but with three major differences. First, you'll no <laughs> longer gain torches for a correct answer, but you can bet we're you'll still lose, the ones lose torches start. when you're wrong. Second, oh, no, when you're on fuck. your last torch and you answer incorrectly, the game is not immediately over. The other team will need to provide a correct answer to eliminate you. That's like family. And third, a team wins when either their opponent <laughs> runs out of torches, or That's if they complete the round with the most torches remaining. Got it? Mud! It was not very like confusing, the last but, round, but I, I but get everything <laughs> changes. <laughs> I, but I get the fact that we're we're trying to get seven. Is it six, seven, and eight? We're going no, no, eight no. We're going to eight to one. one. We're going we're the getting... worst first. So I'm Everyone, picking. Oh, the worst I'm picking, first. I'm picking. We've yeah. only got thirty seconds. I w uh, my no gut Cherry Storm Cloud. Light bulb is a doctor. Yeah. Psychic bathtub or cheesecake with fire powers. I would say snarky plum tree. Person. Snarky plum tree. Yeah, snarky plum tree is really boring. It's boring. That was your number one. Yeah. Really? Well, I still think it's Snarky <laughs> Plum Tree. 14 it. seconds. Snarky, Snarky Plum Tree. It was my number one. It can't be. Why are we getting this like slapping version of the police playing in the background yeah, or no. something? Yeah, big time. <laughs> Fending out a nest Snarky Plum yeah. Tree. <laughs> Chose Paul. God damn it. So that's good. No, wait. No, we it's burn a bad. We burn a torch. But what number well, was it? Because we didn't get eight. need to pick eight. They need to pick eight. That wasn't eight. That wasn't eight. Yeah, we had to guess right, which okay. one was It doesn't tell eight. you what it was. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This is fucking hard. Yeah. Oh, See, what I, is this I, game? I, I That's a good question, snarky, Chuckles. <laughs> snarky Plum Tree was above uh, light bulb, bathtub, and cheesecake for me. Those I three all that those. I left at the bottom. <laughs> Psychic bathtub is funny. <laughs> I'm with, I'm with Steph, that's great. <laughs> half frog, half vampire, light bulb, and duck with sword are like fun. And hippo and cape's great. That was yeah, what hippo, hippo and cape is cute. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was going to say. What the fuck is that? What the no fuck dice. Is that? It's not a torch. No that's dice. what that is. That looks like a Pokemon. Duck with sword. What were they trying to choose? Which eight, which eight number? Still. They were we're trying to get eight. Eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what we're trying to now pick as well. Duck with sword is too cute. Out. I think the animal ones will probably rank high, maybe. Cherry. Oh, just, uh, cherry gave us, I said cherry. Flavor. Cherry's the worst because uh, cherry it's is cherry. a flavor. Fucking cherry. Right. So no, cherry. I read cherry every time. I read cherry every time. So did I. Uh, I, I um I picked that one as my number one. <laughs> okay, so who's guessing? What? So one of us is. One of us is. It's me. It's me. It's me. Are we still trying to get number eight? 
seven. No, we're trying to yeah. get seven. This we're trying seven. to get seven. Eight. Um, it could be one. Light bulb. Light bulb. Or it could be Snacky Plum Tree. Or it could be Snacky Plum Tree. It could be that again. It could I reckon be. it's Plum Tree now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. all right. I think light bulb though. I'd go light bulb. Yeah, no, light bulb was number eight. Light bulb was number eight. No, Cherry Storm Cloud is eight. Cherry Storm. It's showing you on the screen. It says eight. Look at the screen. Oh right, yes. You gotta pick one right now. What are you looking at? Plum tree, plum tree or butt? Plum, plum tree. Oh, plum tree. Oh, plum tree. Oh, do it. No, <laughs> you all confused me. How? Keep in mind, the other team got it wrong. I'm sorry. Oh my god, a correct answer ends, ends the, the game. game. Stephanie Ben Dixon. I'm sorry. Man, you fucking beat us, audience. I hate you. I hope I hate whoever's you. peaked from the audience forgets to click something. <laughs> audience, I hate you. <laughs> Audience, was that your front doorbell? Oh yeah, well, I think yeah. I heard your front doorbell. Do I hear two hundred and fourteen front, front doorbell ringing? <laughs> <laughs> Should go Are there two hundred and thirteen uh, big snacky plum on? tree? Oh, we fuck. Run. This is how they get us. Oh, oh thank God. Like, yeah, because snacky plum tree is number one. Snacky okay. plum. How did Snarky Plum Tree rate so high? Is it just because it was high up on the list and people were lazy? I put it, I put it before the other dumb answers. Correct like, answer like, ends the game. Doctor. Really? I'm sure yeah, we're, put we're both we're, we're all burned out, so we're, uh, we're, just chasing, we're trying say, to get to number seven. We're just seven. chasing that seven. Okay, whose guess is it? Us is guessing. Okay. And we know that it's not Snarky Plum Tree. That's the only thing we know for a fact. Okay. Because Duck with Sword, they were going for eight, and it wasn't So eight. do you reckon that everyone went light bulb as say- a doctor because it's a funny answer? I put that like right down the bottom because I was like, "That's just Me too. a dumb Pokemon." Uh, and a li- we, and, and no light bulb that, has right? no charm. Uh, Nineteen seconds. You know? I would say, go. I think cheesecake with fire powers sounds a bit shit and would have been down the bottom. I, lo- I had that one as like number three. <laughs> yeah, I, had I had that as seven again because yeah, I like. I had that I as like three three I had that as eight or seven. I okay, think. go Gus. Go. Go. I have to go. I'm, cheesecake. You got three seconds. I think there's yeah. I believe in us. No. So it's oh not cheesecake. This is so hard. It's not cheesecake or snarky. Or snarky. It's light bulb. Cheesecake's great. Maybe? Oh, God, I just don't know. I want to eat it. Cheesecake is great. That's why I chose that one. Is it a baked cheesecake? Was seven. So now we're looking for six, and a correct answer ends the game. And again, it could be anything. Frog? All crowded house? <laughs> Wait, is the audience, is, split audience ends is picking six? Audience is go- going for six now, and if they get so, it, they uh, win. The, the and if they get it wrong, we... Go for six. That seven. That psychic bathtub was seven. Tells me that the dumb answers are low. I think. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I actually, I don't know. I don't know. Hippo and you a think cape the is like number one. Yeah, hi- hippo and a cape is cool. Duck with the sword is cool because cool. they're actual creatures. Half frog, half vampire is cool because you can at least be visualize a... what that is. That's, oh. that That's what I would have okay. picked. That's okay. what I would have picked. Oh, damn it. Swing. I got rid of that too. Sorry, I'm really into the music. Oh, Forty-eight percent <laughs> of the audience guessed incorrectly. So yep. now we're trying to guess six. Yep. Oh, and we know on. it's not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not. You know it's not. Storm cloud. Uh, we choose a, a middle like ground one, like frog vampire. That could be cheesecake because we played yeah. cheesecake for seven. That's true. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. 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 Okay. Or plum tree. Really? Wait. 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 It could no, be. No. Cheesecake. We did, did cheesecake. Cheesecakes. Cheesecake. We picked cheesecake for we seven. Did. Oh, for seven. Right. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yes. We could go. We could go. We could go plum tree again. This is just, this is, it's too arbitrary. This is stuck in plum tree. Okay, uh, who's, who's guessing? Who's guessing? Nest. I am. I picked plum tree, even though I think it's wrong, because plum tree is my yeah, my man. Is. Nailed it. Yay! Oh, it was right. oh! The thumb was, was a good wait, thumb. Did we win? I think we beat the audience. We did. We just won. We just oh won my. the game. Yes. Yeah, plum now tree. It's back to, now it's back to Pink Floyd, another hole in the wall. The yes. gutters have escaped. Oh, the, the gutters have it. Here's the way out. I'd shake your hand. Yeah. Your Toxic Chunk says, "Sad we lost, oh. but glad it's over." <laughs> I do love these personified versions of all of us, and we left the spiders down there. The bugs in disguise. <laughs> trapped in a cave. It says, "Run." Yeah, they're gonna get stepped on by Gus's girlfriend. <laughs> I wish I was those bugs. Yeah, she ate them. That's, that's a happy ending for them. Mm-hmm. I want now to see the song... losers list of two hundred. What groovy people. songs gonna play us it out? You had an itch to now She's singing to you now. In a trench that you just can't ditch. You're fine. It's all mine. In my dominion, I need opinions. The only way you're going to. 
babe. Yeah. Is choose a door and Lovely. see how it rates. There's no Just. gold, but you can oh, take Oh, this is so good. She's a snappy plum tree. Caitlin Martin. It's like a snappy end of portal. It's the ball. They wrote the song. All right. We were going to go back to the pack. Uh, <laughs> that was a real party. abrupt ending to that sexy song. Just. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. We're going to Drawful Animate. But I'm going to yeah. just hide it for a second so I can oh, yeah. get us in. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Uh, well, this one will Classic. go forever if we have a full team. So I think we're just going to uh, just go with the four of us. I think so. Yeah. But the audience yeah. gets to vote. Once the game yes. starts on Correct. what they like and dislike. Uh, I liked the pole mine. MBNs? Me too. I, I, liked, think it's it, great. I liked it too. I liked it too. I liked once, it. I, once I understood it. Ah, the NBNs. Oh, you're uh, right. Sorry. Thanks, mate. Uh, the NBNs. I think the last, that last question I feel like was too esoteric uh, to yeah, actually totally. be able to guess. It was like all it of these are random. kind of like weird, so... <clears throat> All right. Uh, what we're doing now? Oh yeah, of course. Is drawing our uh, we're drawing our avatars. And we have to animate them too. Yeah. So we do two frames of Let's an go. avatar. Oh no! And there's no erase, is there? No. We should have a time limit on this. <laughs> This is content, guys. <laughs> this is good. This is good shit. Because that is essentially what this whole round is, correct? Okay, all right. <laughs> There's yeah. mine. It's, it's the thumbs up of someone who just had their hand crushed in a factory accident. Those fingers. <laughs> Look at those right, concentration I'm, faces. Yeah, it's hard, I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. Oh, Pockety! I got a Pockety in there. We know him. From that word from the sponsor. I mean, uh, there was definitely the obvious thing. Video game play. Yep. Still okay. video game play. It's mine. Mine's Scotty. Oh, She's looking happy and cute. Oh, She's having a good time. Cute. And Dick in a do rag. <laughs> it's definitely and Dick in a do rag. <laughs> oh, the pocket he went's so cute. I love it. Yeah. Nick. Should have drawn a smile. Better deliver. Face on my thumbs you better up. Better deliver. That's Gus getting <laughs> stepped on by the thumb. host of the last <laughs> show. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Amazing. Well done. Well done. Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, that's and worth fantastic. the time that was here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, who, you're a hero. Who was first in? Yes. Uh, no. Me. It was someone, you. Who was, someone you said. Were. No, no, no. Oh, me. I think it was me. It was me. Remember, there are no bad drawings. The room code should pop up. With this many once we're in. We have time for two rounds. <laughs> I think we can skip Your this. Mom. Description, right? This is just yeah, we know forward to this. Frame. We get it. Cool. We get it. Uh, uh, yeah, and so SCLF for the audience. Or an absolutely jacked beetle. Draw an animation on your the absolutely jacked beetle. Jacked beetle. Jacked beetle. Title, the more points you'll get. You get it. Let's do this. You get it. <laughs> um, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't even think that's how you spell this word. <laughs> So, okay. It's never too late to join the audience. Go to jackbox.tv and enter the room code. Oh, there's no erase. It's so hard. You need to know exactly what you want to draw. What do the audience get to do in this one? Like, pick favorites or something? Uh, yeah, so we're fucked, Gus. I've already won that vote. Fuck! the fuck am I drawing? My god. I've done an awful job. Alright. I 
think that works? Oh god. Christ. <laughs> oh man, that's, yeah, that's weird. And I, I have no tablet. You know what? I'm gonna put the sex glove on even though I'm using a mouse. Might help. I'm gonna put the sex glove on even though I'm using a mouse. It's gonna help. Okay, good, good, good. At the moment, we flip the pages in the book in the middle. Okay, it's cool. Some of you haven't started your second frame yet, and it shows. What? <laughs> oh my God, how does it know? Amazing. We've only got three colors to work with as well, so. I mean, we did. There's no time for colors, mate. I like oh God, these pencils actually, and gloves. <clears throat> There's more time than... Yeah, I should have colored yeah, we got in. another minute. We got another minute. <laughs> I should have colored in. <laughs> there was time now, Peter. I should have colored. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's <laughs> fucking awful. <laughs> it does not fit the brief. The they funny part was when we, test, when we tested this at the start to see how it worked, Peter drew, didn't realise that you have to redraw your first frame entirely, so just added the one detail, <laughs> and uh, so yeah, his yeah, whole yeah. animation yeah. was just like a bounce two between different two frames. different pictures. <laughs> okay, alright. Alright. <clears throat> Fifteen seconds. 15 seconds. Yeah. I feel Make like the prompt I got was boring. Mine too. Mine but was I think too descriptive. The humour comes from us <laughs> all throwing the fake yeah, answers. Like, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. haven't seen Drawful before, true. we we all now try and come up with... Uh, okay. Convincing descriptors of what's going on. What the hell is... What is that? happening? That? What is that? <laughs> yeah, I'll come up with something for that. Uh, oh yeah, good job whoever drew that. Speeding up the animation, it makes more sense now that it's faster. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God this atrocity of a multi-legged corgi mm. with a quill at the bottom of the screen has come along. <laughs> it's a cogapede. It's a cogapede. Looking at it now, I think I actually did a pretty good I job with the tools I had at my disposal. I don't think that's a question of the job you did, it's the the continuity between the two frames that I'm confused about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, I, have, I, I have questions, Peter. I, have questions. I didn't hit submit. Oh my gosh, I hope it, it worked. I think it does take the answer that you Oh, it does, had. yeah. The one that you think is right. <clears throat> Supergirl breaks the planet. A superhero breaks the Earth. Superman emerges from Sydney. Earthquake girl power. They're mm -hmm. all the same answer, which means that I did a fucking awesome job. What is happening That's... with the moon or whatever? Mm. The moon it suddenly has a shock just face shocked. Because it, it got shocked shock by face. the massive quake of the earth. <laughs> what's the, what's oh the double down? I'm going to double down. <laughs> oh, right. If you think yours is right, you can double oh, down on it. The results. And fucking get nailed extra it. points. I fucking nailed it. <laughs> right. So you wrote that, Nick, and I doubled down. Yeah. So you get double my points. Thank mm. you very much. I get steps. Mm -hmm. Good. No one chose the correct answer, which was. Oh no, Nick did. Oh, I chose that Girl as my power. backup. That's Girl good, power. Pete. That's, that's really a good. That's a really hard one to describe. Yeah, that's mm. really hard. That's crazy. That's messed up. Yeah. Am I the only one who wants six more frames? Like, I'm half of you. What does she do from here? Yeah. <laughs> what does the moon do? Get those what is it? <laughs> it is math jazz. I was just going to say math jazz. Now I can't write you that. can't not say math jazz. <laughs> you write math jazz, Gus, and I write math jazz, Peter, in parentheses. <laughs> <laughs> How to break the game. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the real hero of Catan? Ah, yeah. <laughs> settlers. Settlers. They were settlers. <laughs> Sometimes math is like jazz. Oh, this is 100% blaze ball. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote <laughs> 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 oh, That's so funny. Oh my god, what the fuck?
I can't double down again. Yeah, you only get to do it once per round. <laughs> it's like being taken away from I double, the I double down on that. Yay! Yep. And it's the actual yeah. title. Nice, you're gonna get it. We knew it was we knew because Peter was written in one and the other one said <laughs> maths. And yeah. I wrote the other one. So yeah. I was like, <laughs> I still think it should be plural. <laughs> Clearly I'm failing math and English at the same time. <laughs> English. English. Yeah, but this no, is an American fair. game, so you're they say math. An American game. Yeah, you're failing math and American, not math and English. Okay. What is it? What is it? <clears throat> One roll escape. Just seven. Yeah, <laughs> decision time. <clears throat> Sentient skates. <laughs> How are we to know? Slower. Slower. Who voted for what? Let's find out. Haha! <laughs> Damn it. Was well, done. Done. Uh, well done. Haha! <laughs> 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 that mean everyone's well. voting? Good. That was a good one. That was a good yeah, one. Wow. <laughs> It was one roll. It was such a dumb. That's oh wow! It. One just roll escape zoom in. Zoom in? I was like, that's too dumb to that's be. Yeah, that's, that's, that's I know, so right? I, computer answer. I also read it as I roll a skate. Just zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm winning, but not by, <laughs> not by much. Not by much. Not by much. As a friend. What the fuck? That's Nick's palette. He's <laughs> got the most <laughs> disgusting colours of all of them. Colorina's <laughs> 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 getting away with two R's. <laughs> yes. We <need> to. <laughs> <laughs> doubling down. I'm doubling down. You know what? I reckon I've lost yes. this. No, because no, no. of this stupid no, no. game. Yeah, fucking give me those points. That's... God damn it! <clears throat> That's. Wait, what? That's why it you said it's spelled it wrong in the it game. It oh, in the game. Yep. Yeah. So <sighs> I got totally fucked on that because if that was right, that would be like in with a chance of that is the correct answer. Totally. But like, can I just? Credit to pushing a portman, which sounds like that's so good. great. Yeah. yeah, no. So to the game because like she mentioned right? the typo, so she it wasn't a mistake. Like she was aware of it. They're, they're trying to fool you by being that's like, "Oh, this is an up. audience oh, answer." Because brutal. yeah, oh, yeah, wow. that's so clever. Oh, we got another round happening. We got another round happening. That's messed up. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm going. Quiet for a second, because this mm -hmm, requires mm -hmm. some serious concentration. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> How much time we got left? A uh, minute 49. We got heaps of time. Heaps of time. Okay, heaps okay. Time. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh god. Am I alright? <laughs> I cordially invite you to begin work on the second frame. I'm already there, hun. How much time do we have left, chat? <clears throat> You're gonna have to look at either. You're gonna have to look at your screen either way. They can't tell you. It's a minute and oh, nine seconds. Oh, I thought they could tell. Well, they can see, but you either have to look at the chat or look at. The oh, to yeah, see fair, how much fair, time fair, is fair, left. Fair, fair. <laughs> oh, it's mid, and I hadn't finished my drawing. How much time we got? How much time we got? 30 seconds, uh, 30, 30 seconds, seconds, 30 <laughs> seconds, heaps of time. time How much time we got left, chat? Let us know with an emote per second remaining. Oh, 15 seconds, 14 seconds. Okay, yeah. okay. How much time left? I feel like mine might have been more for entertainment purposes, but I'm okay with yeah. that. I feel like... We're here I to be entertained. Steph, you got four seconds. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was really hard. That was really hard. <laughs> One second left on the clock. That's a, that's a gust rain for one. sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 get that emote going. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's an emote, I forgot. <laughs> 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 oh, my parents what's the, what's the emote called? Pockety oops. <laughs> Pockety oops! <laughs> I forgot Pockety I forgot oops. that. Pockety, Pockety poops! poops. <clears throat> Catastrophic covering. Go ahead and vote. Post coffee <laughs> poo. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, this is interesting. Mmm. Is there all? Mm. Yeah, right. Mmm. Mmm. The bad when all the joke answers mm. are. Uh, Doubling similar? down. Doubling down. Doubling down. Oh. Oh, Peter. Damn it. Oh, we voted for that guy. Mmm. No, so this means. Heh <laughs> <laughs> me. Catastrophic coffee explosion? Was yeah. the real one? Yeah. Mm. Damn it's it! It's good, Gus. It's good. It's well, a good drawing. Good news is it's a good drawing. I just, didn't get, I just didn't get well, the eruption from your photo. I got that's the true. Right. You know what I mean? I focused on the face and I realized I needed. I, Steph, I felt the eruption, and that's what is I that was shit in the bottom the right face. corner on the second it's, frame? It's, it's, it's an explosion of sorts. Mm. <laughs> Oh, you were shitting yourself. Oh, it's the thing. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm Gus, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic joke. Steph. Hunt. <laughs> this literally chat is full of the face of Gus. <laughs> Takes me a while to get there sometimes. True. Oh. Have a coffee, it'll speed it up. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Just a joyful reminder to submit a title. Just a joyful reminder. Just a pass ag way for that happy American voice to say, get on with it. <laughs> Behold your collective effort. <laughs> what? Um, Doubling down again. I'm not. Mm, I have no idea. Oh, vote. I can't wait to see what happened. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, it showed like weird. Um, uh... Yes. Oh. 
Thank you. Look at Ellis Queso. Queso is a Queso. Spanish Queso. word for cheese, and I knew yeah. that was the answer because they have a Queso. large Spanish contingency in uh, exactly. the US. We, we both did I, ham and pea soup. I got scared that that might work against me, but then I went, no, we this worked with the math thing last well, time. Yeah. Something. Oh. <clears throat> what? <laughs> what have you done, Pete? Will it help if I speed it up? <laughs> they look like the characters from, uh... Our looks like monsters. the accordion from... Our, <laughs> your, yeah, the Our Real Monsters character, yeah. Something, something, stepladder, <laughs> says Vasubius. Uh, you mean Oblina? Oh, Oblina, yeah. Oblina. I love that show. Show we've um, not been made today. <clears throat> Time is ticking, right faster. Yeah, I, like the kerning was weird on your one, Steph, so I thought it was like they'd done the, your J and then a space and then L-O, and I was like, oh, they're doing <clears throat> that thing again where they trick people. Ah, uh, yeah, right. But I also wrote Jello, which is the American way of saying dot, jelly. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, exclamation mm -hmm. point. That's true. <sighs> There's no way to get good at this. <laughs> I like how it is the two. I like the meta game here. Alrighty, let's see what. Yeah, I'm only just. Is this in drawful as well? Like being able to come up with the fake. Damn it! What? What? Thank you. Oh, Nick, that was too clever. You always, I, I always go into all of them so confident. Does, do you lose points if you double down? And it's no, wrong. you just give more points to whoever it was Damn who it. drew it. Uh, I gave you double points there, Steph. Yes. Oh. <laughs> pretty, pretty little letters. Ah, uh, <laughs> like pretty little lies. <laughs> what the hell? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Damn it! I had to do it. Lord. No! Nick is winning now. I doubled down on so many of his answers. This is the last one. Same. Now what are we looking at? Time to double down. Not Gus shitting himself again, thanks, chat. <laughs> Talking about bugs there. Anything. Literally write the word anything. Another glass of beetle juice. Uphold democracy right now by voting. <laughs> um, time to double down and win this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, vote. Just vote. Just vote. Okay, here's what happened. I don't know, man. That's oh, pretty funny. Yeah. You're welcome. That's just 70 points. <laughs> ah, damn it. That was good. Yay! Yes! yes. Nice. Does that make no, you don't get points for guessing it right? And I doubled down on no. it, so I got up from last place at least. <laughs> yeah. To still last place. <laughs> to last place. God damn Go it. From last place to straight to the bottom. Oh god, I need this. Make me light! No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the brown rose! I love you! I love, I love you! you. I love you. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Click here to share it. your animations. Oh, cool! And it gives you them all as um, shareable gifts. The director's name is Spencer Ham. Come on. It's like that soup. It's like so that if sweet, I click sweet on one soup. of the ones I liked. Okay, good. Um, it gives me nice. a hint. Is that enough of that? Yeah, well, I mean, this game has its own theme song, but this segment has its own theme song, and I think it would be a crime if we if we left this without uh, hearing that. Jeff, what is it?
Was that Steph? Yeah, that's Steph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's amazing. clears throat> Great. Couldn't tell uh, what all right, it was we'll worth it. That tingling in your ear holes as we head to our second break. Galaxy? What? No! You have proven yourself unworthy, and you must be destroyed! Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. Yeah, we're in trouble. But we're the Guardians of the Galaxy! Here at Boxwell, we can box whatever you want. You got something that needs a box, we'll have the box for that thing. We can put books in boxes, um, pillows in boxes, I've put tins of black beans in boxes. Uh, I put uh, One time I put 32 VHS copies of the, the film The Boxer in a Boxwell box. Basically, you bring it in and we'll box it. Well, because we're Boxwell. Last week a lady came in with a wooden box and she asked me to put that box in a Boxwell box that was bigger. She didn't think I could put a box in a bigger box, but I sure as hell did. I put that box in a bigger Boxwell box and I showed her and she fucked right off. Put a body in a box. Uh, yeah, boxed a couple of bodies, yeah, yeah. No, not at work. Not at work. Yeah, bo Boxwell boxes are the best quality boxes money can buy. Uh, so in order to protect that box, every time we box something in a Boxwell, we make sure to put that Boxwell in another box to protect the Boxwell box from being damaged by other shitty home brand boxes. No one takes boxes more seriously than us. Not even a Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> Little uh, box joke there for all you box lovers. Michael B. Jordan, of course, uh, Michael Box Jordan uh, to his friends and family, of which I am one. I know him. So when you need it boxed well, use a box well, because no one boxes boxes like Boxwell. We've had water. multi -fix. We have had water. Uh, and BMAC for the word from our sponsors. Fantastic work. Thank you very much, Peter, for a wonderful performance uh, in Boxy Z. Uh, and uh, an announcement there as well about the next Game Club game. Uh, of course, mm -hmm. we did the Game Club episode for... What game did we just do? Deathloop. Oh, Deathloop. Death uh, <laughs> and we hadn't picked a game at the end of that. Clearly didn't uh, watch Gus playing through Deathloop. <clears throat> that's true. Uh, and so we hadn't picked a game <laughs> at the end of that. And now we have. And that game is going to be Guardians of the Galaxy. It comes out on Tuesday on almost every single platform you can play a video game on. Uh, hey, so, you can play it on your um, Switch. You can, can you play it on your Switch? Hey. The Switch in your pocket. The switch on the wall. On the wall beside you. <laughs> Get it. Good. Uh, mm. But also we know, uh, speaking of Pete, Pete, I believe you, uh, oh, you can play it on your Switch. You can play it on the Switch. You can play it on PlayStation, really? Xbox, Switch. What are you flabbergasted about? You played Doom Doom on the Force Switch, you piece of and shit. Yeah, it always <laughs> takes two years until someone's yeah. stupid enough to think like, I reckon this could work on the Switch. <laughs> you can play it on GeForce <laughs> now, which Pete will have access to. And that's good because Pete is also taking the lead on this one. Yeah, totally. Uh, looking forward to it. I 
am not like a massive Marvel fan, um, but I do like a contained uh, narrative action game. Um, mm-hmm. And and this looks exactly like that. Yep. You so found the I think it could be fun. I really like the character mm-hmm. models for all of those characters. I feel like I wish that was the guy in the movie and not the Chris. CG. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want yeah. the CG people to be real people in the movie. I feel except, like I... except Gamora. I like Gamora. Controversially, I like find them the worst of the Marvel films. I know people freaking love them, and I wish I did. I don't but really, I really like Marvel. I really didn't really? care for them, but yeah. I watched them I think thinking. I think I'd love this fun. as a video. I watched them thinking I'd prefer this as a video game, so uh, that's why I'm keen to play this because I'm like, this will all feel far more comfortable in a video game setting, in my opinion. But we'll have to find out. Mm. Yeah, it's funny that like asking you to suspend disbelief that there's a talking raccoon doesn't work as well in a film setting as it does in a video game setting just <laughs> yeah. anything in video games yeah, totally. whereas like <laughs> yeah in a movie it's like a talking raccoon a tree that says I also, I'm uh, this, is, all the time. this is post show <laughs> film rant kind of stuff but i agree with that entirely pete i also the thing that always rubbed me the wrong way they just had so much bruce like willis? bruce willis it was always bruce willis is he in them no they just had that it was like this is the creative colorful one where we can use every song ever we can't get this wrong and then i watched them i'm like so much of the of the success of that film hinges on the music doesn't it which for me again goes like a soundtrack's only as good as the film if it's fun and i like everything else about it so it can't hang it all on that guess i reckon if you haven't seen it i reckon you would really like suicide squad I think it's really uh, restrained and tasteful with its use of music. <laughs> uh, I think I could hate yeah, watch the first the one, one of that again. No, the, the first la- one. The <laughs> latest one's also the latest one. Latest one's it's pretty by bad. The same but director. I feel also. like I could. No, it's not. Oh, it's, it's Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Sorry, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. That's the first. Oh, one. right. Sorry, yeah. we thought. That's why I thought you were talking about that because I was like, oh, you mean it's the same I mean, filmmaker doing the exact same thing? It, for everyone who hasn't subscribed to the Patreon and doesn't come to the post show, this is what you're missing out on. Yeah. This is exactly the kind of conversation you miss out on. We can sauce it up a little bit. We can be old, ranty, and young and sexy too. We'll find something in there. That's true. That's true. Uh, so, Guardians of the Galaxy comes out next Tuesday. We'd love you to play along with us, and Pete's going to be streaming the whole game on Twitch, and then we'll do the special game club episode at the end of that. So, there you go. That sounds good. Uh, if you want to do something that sounds good, it would sound good to us if you had to patreon.com forward slash backpocket or backpocket.gg and click the link to patreon because my goodness your dollars are one of the primary ways that the lights stay on here and clearly the lights have been turning off here because there's just not (laughs) enough dollars coming into the patreon uh (laughs) men are arriving and slowly taking parts of my house away for for, over the love of god please subscribe to the patreon (laughs) hashtag Um, save nick's house yeah uh but if you don't have the money to do that that's totally fine just uh give us your eyeballs uh send them to the PO box and we'll do a PO unboxing. God, remember the PO box? Oh, Gus, by the way, I, I meant to say that. there's mail there. So next time you're near it. We've already you... got it. Okay, good. But like as of today? No. No. Okay, okay there's we'll more go mail tomorrow. there. People are voracious when it comes to sending us things. Uh, so yes, Patreon, what else am I doing? Thank you very much to the mods. Thank you to the mods. Uh, the Patreon, we run. The rest of this shit show, it's the mods keeping it all held together with string and duct tape. Uh, that's mainly the Discord and, of course, the lovely chat here. Uh, we love our mods. That's Gat, Syntax, Arrow, Kit, Carnage, Liz Dahlia, Sith Cat, Phoenix, Lion, Disturbed, Jax, Caboose, and What the Shark. And we also love all the patrons uh, equally, but also we have favorites, let's be honest, mm. uh, because each week we say these yeah. names and a bunch of cartoon pockets uh, in Two frame drawful anima- animation applaud these names. So, uh, if the pockets it's more please than two frames stand to their feet and apl- start applauding for the man who is all knees, Oranishi. It's Mason, not Nathan. Don't you fucking forget it, Will. Happy birthday, Slow Punk. Hope it's a great one. Like always, happy birthday, Slow Punk. It's Loki Cat. Loki Cat knows what he did. And in this case, yeah, he's just a very lovely person. When you want to sue the Lord, call Akarash. Uh, it's a Vex Destiny 2 companion app. ER, look out. Now, text, she's in your blanket right now. Oh, she's deep up in there now. I can text. Look out. No one puts him in a corner and then puts that box in a, another box in the corner. I kind of fucked that one up, but it's boxy. You know who I'm talking about. The literal way of sunshine in all of our lives. The coastal city. Max Jazz Games. Kung Poopy. Kung Poopy. Kung Poopy. Kung Poopy. The Vega bus isn't coming. It's here. Uh, a Timothy. A, it's Timothy. A Timothy. Uh, it's Jeff. It's a Jeff thing. I heard he bought a Jeff and he is now really potent. So that could happen to you as well. Uh, Evil Spy Boy. We used to be sponsored by Good Spy Boy. But then something happened to him. And I think it involves some sort of snack related multi fish tirade. Uh, and Freyhem. 
Fix yourself up, mate. Those hens are free. What are you doing? This is a fancy country club. But you know what? Just, just get the fuck out of here. Uh, speaking of Freyham, Freyham, sponsoring the post show. So thank you very much to Freyham. Of course, last week on the post show, we spoke to Freyham. Freyham. did. Ah, oh, that was a great conversation. Lives in America. Uh, had only just found us. And is now is, basically our American correspondent or, or no, our American he, PR agency. He's going to s- s- spread our show all across the United States. He's going to go yeah. knock on doors with a mm-hmm. laptop, with a Razor laptop under his arm and mm-hmm. knock on it a la the Book of Mormon style and be like, have you heard of our Lord and Saviour Pockety uh, in, yep. in a perfect American accent? So thank you, Frayhan, because <laughs> that's, what, that's what Americans need, more people knocking on their door, forcing their uh, religions on them. All right, so uh, Gus there <laughs> just insulting our, one of our fine patrons there at the end. Uh, so stick around for Freyham's post show. <laughs> you only just realised what was happening. Uh, and uh, thank you very much, everyone here. He's for shitting watching. himself. He's shitting himself right now. Um, we, uh, we will be back next week, um, but we will be back on a different day. We yes. don't know what that day is yet. We haven't confirmed it 100%, but... It will be not a Thursday, so it will be either a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Likely a Wednesday or a Friday. Yes. Um, because but we those... will be working on something on Thursday night. Mm-hmm. We're, sh- we're sure you'll all enjoy watching. Yes, it's getting announced at the start of next week. Yeah, it's a Monday. That's a, no, that's a Monday. So we won't, Sunday, we... Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. And we won't be doing the show on Monday because Monday's just too soon. Um, and no, Tuesday we'll be doing the back podcast we'll, on Monday. We'll do the back so, podcast and we won't follow on, yeah. straight in with back no, podcast. But on that Monday, we'll tell you when we're doing the show, be it a Wednesday or a Friday, after we talk about uh, announcing the thing on the Monday, which is what we're doing on the Thursday. Yeah, and don't forget the Guardians of the Galaxy comes out on Tuesday. So November. that's when, yeah. Um, Steph, you've got five seconds left. Quick, pick something, Steph. Pick something. Basically, there's eight doors, and we mm-hmm. have to choose the one that is the sixth worst of all of the options. And that is what we're doing. And it was a that's hippo it. in baby shampoo. It was a psychic bathtub. With a sword. Is it ever going to be baby shampoo? <laughs> Baby crying shampoo. my no one wants to take a fucking swim in a pool of baby shampoo i'm sorry you are all insane you are crazy people that is the bottom it's of the list clean it doesn't but you don't go to a pool it wasn't to the bottom get, of like, the list chemically cleaned you go to a pool for a nice relaxing swim you literally not, go, go there for sexy with full cream. of chemicals no, but you, yeah, but it's not to be clean. You don't jump yeah. in and go like, I'm going to come out like chlorinated, stripped, yeah, freshly stripped chlorinated. of all my body you hair. You start in the whipped cream sexy shampoo. one and then you go into the baby one and then you go mm-hmm. into the tears one last. It's a three what dunk process. What are you putting on your babies? Because mm. it wasn't shampoo. That's the real question. No, That's the I, real was, question. I was putting a normal amount of shampoo on them. He was putting hair. lime jello on them. <laughs> I was. I was, mudding those little, I was mudding those little bubbas up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, Pete, can you can you stop the show now? Everyone's going, everyone's going, go away, end the show. Swing it out, mate. Swing it out. <laughs>